Welcome to Flat Earth Debate. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you are new to this channel, or you're amongst the 50% of the people watching this who have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you have been enjoying these streams and want to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside the show while it is live, and if you would like to join the debate, with the page you are currently watching on mute, simply click the link in the info box below this video to join the show and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the hangout. Number one, please do not swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You will be warmly welcome back on the next stream. In a moment, I'm going to transition across to my photographs so I can share the show on Facebook, Skype and Twitter. And I would encourage anybody who is currently watching the live stream to please also share the show. Sharing is the most important thing you can do as a viewer as it increases the live audience, which in turn increases the likelihood of having a more diverse panel. So please, please share the show. One more time, if you're new to the channel or you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. We'll try and do a few shout outs while I'm doing my sharing. Just raise the mic on the hangout in case anybody's just joining while I'm doing this, so you can say hello. Hootube, first one in. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for being here. Pleasure as always. Fanny Lancer, good to see you. Proud supporter. No spam. Fanny, I'm watching you. Arwin, good to have you here. Another proud supporter of this show. Proud contributor. Sean Pierce, thank you for being here. Hope you enjoy the show. Please share. Joven Trendmaker, thank you for being here. Nice to see you as always. Daylight Ohio, thank you for your, your, your for, for all your super track. Get try that one more time. Hey, Daylight Ohio, thank you for all your super track. Thank you for your super chat contributions. I will get it out in the end. Sleeping Warrior, <laughs> I won't read that. Good to see you here. Thanks for being here. I think that's pretty much it. So I'll run through my links one more time and hopefully you won't have to hear them a third time, but if nobody joins, you will. So if you are new to this channel or you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside the show while it is live. And if you would like to join the debate, as I'm hoping someone will do, if nothing else, to test the stream, then simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below this video. There are a couple of rules in the Hangout. Please don't swear. If you do, I'll eject you. And if you are ejected, you'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream. So don't try and rejoin using sock accounts. That's pretty much it for my links. You may hear the exact same information again in five minutes time if we don't get our first guest. And if we do, you'll hear an introduction from me. Oakley One Kenobi, good to have you here. K hey, Shireen Tomph, <laughs> I think I've said that totally wrong. Good to have you here anyway. Not a space agency, pleased to see you. Roger MC, thanks for being here. Amanda, nice to see you. Saves me typing it. Please share the show. Roger MC says, he said my name. Woohoo. Yes, it makes you that happy, Roger MC. I'll say it a couple more times. Very pleased to have you here. 
Roger MC. Chill Scanner, good to see you. Stiggy! One of my favourites. How are you doing, Stiggy? Nobody's tested the stream yet. One of you from the chat could just click the link just to check the stream works. It's definitely the info box. I've just checked. Hey, Haunted House, good to see you. I restreamed Shill Scanner's intro that he made for me. So, so thankful to people like Shill Scanner. Great adverts, as opposed to the evil horribleness I used to get as adverts. Now I get actually quite nice ones. So, thanks, Shill Scanner. Oh, we've got a guest. <coughs> Ali, pleased to have you here. And if you're just testing the stream, but I heard some noise and so did the audience. So that's good enough for me if that's all you've joined for. Thank you so much, Ali. If you're here to talk about the shape of the earth, the mic's all yours. I'll fade across if you choose to speak. All right, how are you doing? I'm very well. Very pleased to have you. First one in, so the mic's all yours. Hang on. Oh, no, I just... <laughs> What am I going to talk about? It was just a, I just wanted to know what happened about the uh, the photograph. That photograph everybody was arguing about yesterday. The photograph of the lights on the bayou. Yeah, yeah. How it was one minute it was that that discussion with the refraction, standard refraction, abnormal refraction. It was just I was. Uh, I was just wondering how it ended up. Did anything get resolved or anything? I fell asleep. Not really. I mean, the people on the Globe side are essentially saying just wait till he presents his evidence. Whereas from from my perspective, from the flat Earth side, I see something that's incredibly useful. You know, a side on perspective view of something with reference markers, according to him, measured certain distances that you can then extrapolate data from. It's incredibly useful to have that side view. And their opinion is, well, you shouldn't be really looking at this until he's released his... Um, his data and it's like no this is really handy for me it's perfect or for Anthony to, to absolutely tear to shreds it's ideal so you know for them to say you shouldn't be looking at this it's like no gonna be all over it like flies on you know what of course yeah absolutely I was just I, I was think because I, I went and watched the guy's video I was just watching the tide you know the tide was going in and out while he was that through that whole day yeah so when he took his five foot uh, measurements you know the tide was coming in maybe that's why it was refracting down the way it looked as if it was going down because the tide was coming in I was looking at the tide uh, times and you could actually watch if you watch the uh, the side uh, the, the, uh, where the lights were during the day you can watch the tide uh, going out and then coming back in again I'm just wondering whether he took that into account because he took quite a while to set up the lights uh. Yeah, we've got comparative footage as well of that exact thing happening at Skunk Bay, which, you know, that got dissected as well. But I, I don't know that's the honest answer until we see all of his results. I think he has released some of it on Twitter now, which I haven't been keeping up with, but um, hopefully someone will join who has. We shall see. Yeah, I, th I thought I, I thought because it, it did see... It did see on his video that it was, uh, it was the experiment, wasn't it? So even though he did take it at 15 foot, as he rose, that means that if you're up higher, you should be able to see the curve, yeah? But they say, oh, by the way, it doesn't matter. You go up higher, you just see further, so you don't see the curve. But then, uh, uh, like his, um, the other video with the pylons, right, as that went away, but they, they would have said if you went up higher, oh, you wouldn't see the curve, but you, you could see the curve from the this last video that he did. And he was higher up, you know. But it doesn't it doesn't really prove it doesn't prove anything anyway. It's it's not really a proof or anything. You know, as I say, you've got to take into account so the tide coming up. That's stupid, you know. It'll be interesting to see if he actually if, if he put into his equation about uh, he he took into account. Oh, I, I might get kicked, Nathan, because Timmy the tossers on. Excuse my language. No, uh, no, he won't kick you. Well, I'd be surprised if he does. Oh, he's, done it, he's done it before. He's done it before, so. 
Well, hopefully not this time. How are you doing, Tim? I think Jonathan was the first one in. Hey, what's up, man? Good to have hi, you John. Yeah, hi. All hi, right. Jonathan. Now that's my job done. <laughs> Good to have you both. Nathan, may I just ask you a question, mate? Um, just, just wanted to clear something up. Please don't misinterpret this or take it the wrong way. Um, is your is your mother Anne Oakley? No. No. Okay. That's 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 cool. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you know what that's in regards to, do you? I'm not. No. Gonna feel free to tell me that. Tell me what you mean. I don't mind. Fill me in. Um. Yeah, he was talking well, on Jamie Brown's earlier. He said he was actually going to meet up with you and get it on camera. Isn't that right? I didn't say. I said that I was going to talk. I didn't say that. You fucking lying. You didn't no say swearing. that. No swearing. Watch your mouth, buddy. You're on I Nathan Oakley's channel said, now. Listen, shut You're not on up, Jamie Downs. I said, listen, I said I was going to talk to Nathan, and dependent on what was said, I may have recorded it. I didn't say I was going to film No, we can go back. I think you're drunk again. Him. You're just a drunk uh, numpty. But... Mug. Yeah, what are you even doing? Shut here? up. Shut up. You do, you do a terrible Essex accent. You know, you, you, listen, I, I wasn't even talking to you, and, and Nathan can go back and watch it. And, it's uh, none of your business who his dad is, dude. Just to look, let you know, it's none of your freaking business. It, it is. Uh, it is. No, it's some not. Of my, Look, shut, I'm not even asking you. Shut up. All right? I'm talking to Nathan. It's none of your business. All right? Let Nathan determine whether it's any of my business. But no, I'm, I'm telling you it's none of your Nathan. business. Shut up. Nathan, may I talk to you, please? Can you just mute him for one second? I will just be 30 seconds. I said my piece. I've been right, joined by Nathan. Curved just Water. How channel. are you doing, Curved? Good to have right. you here. Just on the channel a moment ago, it was brought up that um, your mum was Anne Oakley and uh, your father was somebody else Oakley. I can't remember his name. And when they brought up the issue of uh, who it were, they were, uh, it said Robin Oakley. regarding your um, mum is a distinguished British sociologist, feminist, and writer. She is professor and founder and director of the Social Science Research Unit at the Institution of Education University for London. Da -da 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 -da. It goes on and on. Um, daughter of Richard Titmus, and then it had a really bad write-up about um, your supposed father. But thanks very much, Nathan. You've cleared that up, like I said. Um, please excuse. I can't. I can't. Shut yeah, none of your business. Get out of here, clown. <laughs> Just to clear this uh, up. No, you're literally... probably going to make me stick around a little bit longer, you mug. There's, there's, there's literally mark. videos with all of my family named on my channels. Yeah. So this yeah, isn't, and this I, isn't I, easy. I have actually seen, and, and this is why, um, you know, I said that I would. I wanted to talk to Nathan first before I said anything. I mean, there's, there's, it's, these it, people are idiots. Either. Yeah, and go I have another seen... drink, you clown. These people I mean, are idiots. Have another drink. Do I sound drunk to you at the moment? A little bit. No. <laughs> anyway, we've been joined by... I'll right. try Curved well, again. I think he's had mic all, problems. Listen, just Hold on, Jonathan. All Jonathan, on Jonathan, that Jonathan bear with me. It doesn't Jonathan. mean that I Jonathan, am. Jonathan, okay? I'm trying to do intro. This is a flat earth debate, so Jonathan. remove yourself if you're not going to uh, debate about the flat oh, earth. Thank you. You're the one who's bringing up... You're Thank the one who's you. bringing up... Right, so we've been joined by Curved Water was in first, but he had a few mic problems, so if I can just say a quick hello to Curved Water, first of all. See Nathan, this is the, this is the uh, level of research flat earthers do. Anyway, hi. Yeah, they think they <laughs> failed dox me about six times, and they continue to call me some fail guy, and it, they're well, they're just pathetic researchers. They're not well, even researchers; they just sit there and you're... create hot air. Well, hold on. That's all they well, do. Well, then you're including Nathan in that because Nathan is a flat earther. Uh, can I just say, I'm like, talking about Mr. Jamie Downs' crew over there. No, 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 guys, no. You guys, just smart said people there. Calm down. I need to introduce you guests. Put us all. Just Sorry, guys. Mr. F whatever your name is, can you just say a quick hello? Hi, how you doing? Good to have you here. All right, I can transition back to you guys now. Now we're not going to get porn. You, you just said flat earthers, and you tired us all with this. Anyway, this isn't a drama channel, so go have another drink. Uh, no one cares. Anyway, hey, uh, ballers here. I just wanted to say that Ranty was saying also on that show that. <laughs> 
that you guys are getting smashed, um, that the flat earth is just winning and, and uh, it's just absolute patheticism coming from their mouths. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> no, but, we are um, winning, though. <laughs> We've got the story. They're mine, thanks. For the We've been got? joined by Paul, and we've also been joined by Gem Panda. I think Gem was in first. If I can just say a quick hello to Gem Panda, how are you doing? Hi, everyone. Thank you, Nathan. And how are you doing, Paul? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Thank the Lord. Yeah, Paul, good you better step your game up, these flat earthers, man. They're beating a physicist, dude. All of what you say has been debunked <laughs> by Ranty Rant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't agree with. <laughs> that either to be honest no, but I agree with that. Know, research isn't very good because you you didn't know about nathan's thing you got that wrong didn't you it's kind of embarrassing yeah all they do is just talk crap about nathan too i mean they're just they're, they're so pathetic they sit over there and they're just oh nathan he's he's creating a show and but making loads of said money said we all know you're not making much thing. money dude Hold on, I just thought you said this wasn't a drama thing so i you know why are you yeah so back? remove yourself clown no, I see. I'm a flat earther. Go have another so drink. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a flat earther. So, Let me, no, 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 you guys were just saying that uh, Jamie Brown is the only legitimate, and that you guys should stay over I there. Didn't so say you that. just, you hop see, right over on the Nathan Zoukley, right? When you're he doing fires it once up. Once again, you're doing it once again. You once really, again, I was just clump, listening. You clump, you cl you clumping us all in together. I, I. Anyway, yeah, Jamie Downs channel. I'm, I'm clumping you guys, Pete Shea, all those clowns that talk crap about Nathan for no reason because he has a debate channel and you guys are jealous that he gets way more views than Jamie Downs? I, I, you're jealous. Remove people, yourself, you, drunkard. Listen, listen you, you're you talking for them. You're not talking for me. So I don't have that view. I heard you speaking, okay? Yes, you did hear me speaking. I was on there. I've got no... <laughs> You know, I've got nothing to hide, mate. I haven't done anything. Sorry, I don't want to call you mate because you're not my mate. You're scum. I'm scum, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Not very All right. you do is go around and just bash people. You just can't snipe can't people's mate. hangouts. You think you've got this... You, Am I sniping you right now? Because I could. I could. Woo, you could. So just leave, dude. You got nothing. Leave. Well, what have you got then? Come on, then ballers. Come on, what have you got? Pictures and men. No, no, no. Just See, that's 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 what the uh, <laughs> that's what all flat earthers do now. They just say, "Oh, you guys are looking at NASA pictures, and that's why you know it's a sphere." No, actually, we know a lot more about the spherical model, the two no, celestial points, think, equinoxes, everything that do. works on the spherical model that you guys just don't seem to look at. Mathematically, it works. In reality, no, it does no, not no. work. No, no, actually, it's observationally. Okay, observationally. Remember the empiricism that we're all supposed to go the back Earth to. Is flat. Okay, then provide evidence. How come Matrix Decode's last two videos show the curvature? I How don't come? know about And Matrix he left. Decode. He was a flat earther. He was a flat earther before you even knew of the term, dude. So, so what if it's, uh, he's got nothing to do uh, with uh, me? Why uh, are you uh, asking uh, about take him? Take the marbles out of your right, mouth, listen, clown. I'll, I'll tell you why the Earth's flat, right? If you're looking, if you're expecting us to believe that there is. Why? Visible curvature with a boat going over the horizon at 2.92 <laughs> miles. Then why, if I've got an uninterrupted stretch for 60 miles on left to right, why can't I see any curvature there? I'd like it's to a ball. left it's to right. This, this x-axis argument. This x-axis argument is pathetic, dude. Uh, Go okay. seriously. There, there's no hope for people like you. Go and read a book. Why can't I see uh, it from uh, left to right? We'll just turn your body to the right then, or 45 degrees then. And then look left, and you'll see the you freaking believe, curvature, moron. I suppose, I suppose you believe Sandley's pylons videos are, are real, do you? Well, you believe? Think, like, well yeah, pylons. actually, he's got you many, think, many uh, videos and images. What, what am I supposed think, to no, disbelieve I'm it? You that specific one. You, do you think that those pylons that are going across the water are bending over? Is that what you think? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Right. yeah. What, what evidence well, have you got? Why don't you go and watch Jeronism's video that he just did today? Right. You mean last night? Yeah, I did watch that. No, it was no, garbage. You, you I could... already emailed him about it. I saw a lot of lies. Oh, oh, so, so. Terrible lies, dude. Terrible. 
So what? So what about all the uh, mir- mirroring effects and and all all that? Yeah, that we don't. We uh, everybody here on this deny. panel don't deny mirroring effects. We don't uh, deny Fata Morganas. We do not deny temperature inversions. We do not deny superior and inferior mirages. Okay, we don't equate that into a flat Earth like you do. Okay, clown. So take the marbles right. out of your mouth, go get another drink, and remove yourself from this fucking podcast. Nah, mate, I'm Excuse me. No, nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna piss you off even more, mate. Well, I'll just remove you. You can't go on head. Please remove me. You can't remove me. It's Nathan's hangout. Yeah, please don't snipe anybody. See what I mean? You, you know, I didn't come over here to have a row. I really didn't. Well, I came I, over here to ask a question. Well, I have to. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not going to duck out I'm now asking people well what? i'm interested in seeing how you explain that um uh, mirage effects can, can cause me? such a nicely can uniform curve we can we yeah. can curves how are you doing curved we've also I'm been joined by near base how are you doing near base good to have you here how are you doing near base hey how's it going very quiet i'll turn you up good to have you here has mr osman gone yeah good Try not to swear, Jonathan. You can say what you like to him, just don't yeah, I swear. Yeah, do, I do apologise, Nathan. Sorry about that. Really no do apologise. He's uh, divisive and he does all this on purpose. We all know this. Let's go back to the, uh, what we were talking about. Yeah, okay, yeah. Big Paul. Sorry. Thanks. Paul? Yeah, I'd just, like to hear, I'd just like to hear somebody explain how... How um, mirages and stuff can cause such a nicely uniform looking curve. Jonathan, you're up. Explain it. Uh, yeah, I'll have a shot. Well, what, what makes you, you think that? I've got all the answers? Yeah, man, Jonathan. Jonathan. What Jonathan. makes you think what? I've got the answers? Jonathan, one minute. Well, if you don't claim that it's mirages, then you have to have an answer. Yeah, no, no. right. Okay. Right, you said, what, what did you say? A uniform. Is that Paul? Is that, did you say uniform? It's not Jonathan one second. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a well-defined curve. It's what we would expect to see on a what, curved dirt. What part are you talking about? Beg your pardon? The pylons, the sound, sound leads video or what? Yeah. Any of his oh, videos oh. that show curvature, any of his videos that show curvature, the curve is pretty, curvature. pretty well defined. Yeah, but what, yeah, what videos? Yeah. What videos are you talking about specifically that shows curvature? Well, you pick. You can. You can pick his causeway one. You can pick his um his uh, transmission line one. So yeah, and they've all been debunked. Any, any of them? Any of them? They haven't been debunked. We've yes, had pathetic have. excuses. We've had excuses. Have you watched and journalism's video today? How come? How come yeah, and what a load of rubbish. Oh, but, how, how that's many... what I think about soundly stuff oh, and all that. Well, well Jem's seen the video. Oh, sorry, sorry, Nick. Oh, sorry, you guys are too high intellectuals, aren't you? Sorry. Uh, well, no, I mean, you know, I'll, just, I'll, just go, I'll just go off back to my... Uh, Little hot hole, shall I? And, and you know, that's, that's up to you, yeah. please. But why are you saying this? There's no reason to say this, is there? Yeah, no, jo- Jonathan, it was just, you know, I was, we were just getting into a conversation. Uh, there, and that was all. That was all. I wasn't telling you to go away or saying I was intellectual. I was just trying to ask some questions. Of, yeah, no, uh, no, no, that's, that's cool. It's not very often you get to talk to a physicist. So. Uh, who is the physicist? Sorry, on on the panel. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Paul guy. All oh, right. Okay. Hi. I didn't. Sorry, Paul. I didn't know you were a physicist. We've also been joined yeah. by David. How are you doing, David? How are y'all doing? Good to have you oh, here. Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, Paul, hey, you? Paul, do you have any? Uh, uh, have you shown any of these credentials that you're a physicist or anything? Oh, for fuck's sake! No, 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 I don't know, Jem Panda. Jem anyway. Panda, I don't know. I am asking the question. Well, he hasn't actually presented any evidence at the moment, so it, right. you know, if you're going to start questioning his in questioning his integrity to provide evidence, then you need to wait until that's happened, right? Determining yeah, now what plus, qualifications plus are relevant to the conversation. Yeah, plus and in the well, 
you know, as some people want to keep themselves private. So, you know, if yeah. you start showing qualifications and all that kind of stuff, you know, so I get it. But so we just have to take everything on on word. Well, you that, could look that, it you know, up. Well, it's not relevant anyway. It doesn't. It's irrelevant. Presents it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right then. So, what what tangible stuff that can can you prove? You know that all these um, stars are billions of light years away, or however far they are, with all these ridiculous numbers that are just you know how I ever believed all the heliocentric nonsense. I do not know. It's disgusting. Well, I don't know. I don't know why you believe. You're saying you believe it. No, he doesn't. No, believe I it. did believe it. I did believe it. How? What a fool mm -hmm. I am yeah, for believing it. it. Yeah, but but Jonathan, you got to remember, you don't understand. You did not. Oh, yeah. How do you know I well, don't understand it? Well, how do you know I don't understand well, it? You've never talked to me before. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Let me talk. Like because if you're asking questions, which is pretty much what these whole debates have been, is is you guys asking the questions. That it, that would tell you that you don't understand the answers. You're not trying to debate. I haven't them. asked you shit. I haven't asked you any. Ask, sorry. You, how or, do we know the stars are? But I actually agree. You just right, are asking that, sorry, how we know. Fair enough. It's One right, question. It's a way then by you, you, you don't understand it. So how, how 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 do you how do you know then that the stars are that distance away? Well, they don't know, man. They they're gonna tell you they know. But go ahead. Yeah, no, there's cool, a lot of please, methods we can use. We, well, we okay. can use parallax, we can use redshift measurements. Those things mm -hmm. tell us the distance that the stars are away. Right. Okay. And my friend Nick, he's in university. When, when, when was it decided that the moon was 240,000 miles away? What year was it that that was finally uh, put into fact that the moon was 240,000 miles away? What year was that? I don't know. I have no idea what year it was. And really, it doesn't matter. I mean, we know it that it's matter. that distance it away. It matters a lot. It's irrelevant when that distance was established. What, what year was it? What what year was it that they decided the, the sun was ninety six million miles away? What year was that? Yeah, and I how don't come know. they kept it's changing it too. over the last five hundred? No, it's not irrelevant because after the Copernicus came out, oh, how there was so many different. It? There was so many. Because different... they have more accurate measure methods of measuring. Right. I thought you go slide through the wicket and get beat up, ballers. What's going to happen today? I can already see it. <laughs> can I Newton. just confirm you're telling us that science isn't dogmatic, that it changes over time? Is that what you're saying? Of course it changes over time. Yeah. Why would we expect it to be static? Jim's agreeing with you. What's the definition of scientism? Why? What is that? No, no, Jim's agreeing with you. Do you think I don't care? All right? Scientism is a made up word. I don't care. Why would you expect science to be static? Do you think we've discovered everything that there is to know? Oh, of course they, not. They seem, seem that was Jim. Jim seem to indoctrinate kids and. I wasn't going to indoctrinate kids and, 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 and ram it down their throat. Land. I was asking the flat earthers to confirm if they're saying that science isn't dogmatic. Hmm. It's a very good point. Science built the first three fifty ships, so we know it's science very is very dogmatic, good. isn't it? Because you don't want to like even take on board other answers. Well, the, the claim is at the moment that it's that it's cut, that it's changed several times. Is that is that correct? Dave? Science has changed. Joined by the rumpus. Can I just say a quick introduction? How are you doing? Hello. Good Hello. to have you here. My so, favourite baller, <laughs> Rumpus. <laughs> or Ali, so you would agree it's changed over time. Oh, sorry, say that again, Jim. I, I wasn't listening, actually. Well, the, the claim was being made that that because distances to uh, uh, heavenly bodies have been recalculated over the years because uh, measurement methods have improved. Well, that, you need to specify what year they were, were updated. You know, you got to always update that uh, information, and the information doesn't seem to be out there that uh, the sun was decided on this day. Was it in the newspaper back when? What, 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 how, let's well, see the, let's see the newspaper article where it said that uh, the sun's 96 million miles away. We it discovered this today. In 1990, and then they probably updated it again in 1995, and then they probably updated it again in 2000. Yeah, but you're saying probably, probably, but that's not when it was. Every year. 
Uh, 17, 17, I thought a physicist should know all this yeah. information. Well, they, they, they determined the distance oh. of the sun with a transit of Venus. That's what Captain Cook was sent over to do when he went over to Australia so that they could do it by parallax. Well, no. uh, the, uh, the parallax on the uh, transit of Venus across the sun. So they established very firmly in about, what was it, mid-1750s or something. It was 1761 and 1769. Oh, right, right. yeah, I didn't do like that from memory. There you go. So how did that help you guys, knowing that? There you go. Now you know. What's next? Come the on, Mayans John. knew more about the stars than y'all ever will. No, wait, wait, wait. What's next? Now that you know the information, because it was yeah, so... I, 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 want to get back, I want to get back to late culture yeah, training. <laughs> I want to go back to the curvature, because that's what we original, and I was talking to Paul. Yeah. All right. Let's talk or, about... Or anybody, or anybody that... Um, but that before we move on, I think just, just, just to acknowledge... Uh, you, never mind. Really, don't never you think mind. it is true? I thought, I, honey, will you just speak? No, but, no, no, I just, just wanted to say quickly, just, just so we can end that bit. You would agree, Ali, because you're reasonable. That science isn't dogmatic, is it? It does change over time because it accepts new information. What, the Absolutely. science is a bit dogmatic? Yes, it is. So that's the contradiction that is. you've just been telling us about it changed. Well, hold on. It's dogmatic in the sense that something like Newton's law, it's not going to change what Newton's law, for instance, do. But we mm -hmm. determined that in new situations like being near a black hole, yeah, very quickly, it, it changes. So science is dogmatic in certain ranges, but it's prepared to say <laughs> under new circumstances, um, which we're not familiar with, you have to, might have to develop a, a more developed theory or you might add another couple of percent to the age of the universe or something. But it's, so it's dogmatic in some senses, but it's prepared to update give extra resolution to things as it learns more yeah, yeah, no, but i don't it's, think it's even dogmatic in that sense i don't think it's uh, even dogmatic in that sense because newton's laws we've now accepted are incorrect well they're not they're not incorrect in, but they yes, are they close are. they are yeah. but they're a close not, approximation for you in the context of life. the world we live in they're not not in the, on the earth no, they work no yes, well. they, yes they still are incorrect but the yeah, point are, is yeah. that they're incorrect by such a small amount it yeah. doesn't matter Yes, that's a resolution. And that's why we yeah. All right, hold on. Well, well, what about when Michi right. Kaku so, comes so, on and he says that cosmology is not off by um, zero to the power of three, which is unacceptable. He says it's off from zero to zero the to 120. The power of three. But, 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 Paul, we're dogmatic that with the resolution we're talking about, they are, okay. the laws are correct. Right. So we are dogmatic. I beg your pardon. What was we're that? The, we are dogmatic. Goodbye, the Nathan. Of, thank you. We are dogmatic that the laws, something like Newton's laws, work to the hey, resolution. Mate, yeah, your tossers. To the oh, resolution. No, 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 because we've, we've now accepted Good argument, John. That centuries ago, centuries ago, we accepted Newton's laws as truth, and we right, used them and we, we calculated them. them. We used everything, dogmatic. okay? And now, yeah, yeah, and now, but the thing is, dogmatism means that we would hang on to those and not claim yeah. that they are false. We now have a better theory. We now know that Newton's laws aren't correct, and we willingly admit that. So well, that's we, not dogmatism. Well, okay, we willingly the, admit that we were wrong. We were wrong about Newton's laws. We now have a better model. We still are able to use Newton's laws in everyday situations because as far as everyday situations go, they are good enough. Yeah, so but we know they're wrong. We are not dogmatically they're hanging not on wrong to them. From context because, on Earth. Using, because you that well they are. No. It's just that the error that they give, the error they give is so small that it that it's irrelevant. Exactly. They are still wrong, right? But they are still good enough. Uh, well, we to use, use them to do things like satellites around the solar system. That's the point. That's the point. Yeah, no, that's, the that's right. Still that's right. They were. Because we don't have to use relativity for everything because it would be too complicated. Yeah. But we're not dogmatic in the sense that we accept that Newton's laws aren't correct. We've moved on. We have better theories. We don't have to hang on to Newton's yeah, laws and say, no, 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 they're correct. We've improved their resolution. We've updated them. But we haven't ever, we're dogmatic about the fact that in our context on the earth, Newton's laws work. And if anybody could show an example of Newton's laws that's not, not working. Dogmatism. Well, okay, it depends what you my dogmatism is. We're, we're very firm that Newton's laws haven't been violated in the context of the Earth and doing things in the solar system that they work 
you know, pretty perfect. They work good enough for our purposes. Yeah. That's so what we're, we're trying dogmatic to say. about. That we're not. Yeah. We're prepared to say that no, is. That's not, that's not. No, that's not dogmatism. Well, okay, depends what. Well, okay. Well, the, I suspect that with the usage that um, whoever it was. Dogmatism would be hanging on to a hanging on to a a, a world view in spite of evidence against it. Okay. Well, we're dogmatic that Newton's laws work in the context of Earth, in the sense we are, you know, obviously we're open. If, if someone found evidence to the contrary, um, we would obviously accept that and try and incorporate in that in, in new laws. But um, we are we are quite, perhaps dogmatic is not quite the right word, but we're emphatic. Yeah, that, that's law. what I'm trying to say. The dogmatic is not the right word to yeah, use I mean, we, I, Yeah, I know, but I, I, was, I was suspecting that the, the, the person in question was had a certain flexibility about what they actually meant by the word dogmatic, but we're certainly very firm that Newton's laws work. That's uh, Newton's laws work on in our everyday context, and we're very firm about that. We, we're not prepared to. You'd have yes. to be give us an extraordinarily uh, convincing um, piece of evidence to suggest that it that it that it didn't. And we're very so we're very firm. If you say that to instance, to scientists, they say you're an idiot. Go away. Um, yes. Not then I wouldn't even prepare to consider talking to you if you started to violate that unless that's, you came with a great word of direct. To say that science is dogmatic is wrong because if that piece of evidence did come along, science would be quite accepting and say, okay, we've got this piece of evidence. Newton's laws don't work. Why not move on? You and gotta remember, sense, a, lot, a lot of us have been dogmatic. living and watched all this science come to age. You know what I'm saying? There's people alive before air, before refrigerators were in people's houses. You know, it wasn't even until the almost 1920 when the refrigerator first went into to homes. So, uh, you know, so you got to figure just to, just in my 50 years that I've been alive, all the things I've seen uh, done by science. But there's a difference between science that's useful and then science that's made up. You know, into that's a theory. not science. That's engineering. No, that's science is what that is. No, it's engineering. The, the, the manufacturer of a refrigerator did not, it, the science did not move on with the uh, creation of the refrigerator. Engineering. Well, scientists how discovered how refrigeration worked, man. Before the refrigerator was created, yes. They just used scientific principles to create refrigerator. The refrigerator invention did not add to science. Right. It was because he did the gases on it. But, but that was done before the invention of the refrigerator. The refrigerator That's used right. scientific principles to work out how to build a refrigerator. The refrigerator did not create any science. Science is all exactly. about keeping your beer cold in the moonlight. That's what science is. So we right. got, what we want to think is that the, the, just in the last hundred years, we we have all these smart people come of age. And uh, now, now y'all seem to know the answer to everything over here. That's We've right. been joined by Brenda. Can you say a quick hello to Brenda? How you doing, Brenda? Good afternoon. Oh, what hi, Brenda. Talk, what y'all talking about now? They get knocked out here on a Friday where the the are coming in here. Could I, could I y'all been, been sliding through this week. I didn't get to listen. I didn't get to get on any of the shows I'm, this I'm, week. Flat earthers don't believe in science, don't care about the mm -hmm. truth, and don't understand science. I understand science just fine. <laughs> you just talked about refrigerators. You just talked about How about an Indian? How about, how about the cars? You don't, they're using, you don't think they're using, you don't think they're, scientists are building cars right now? You don't think that, uh. Well, Allie B's a uh, scientist. No, they're not. They speak. Engineers build build cars. No, I was just I, I was I just had a, a, a question when just uh, what that other guy was saying about uh, you know in the last hundred years or so it's it just uh, my question is or my my thought anyway uh, or uh, yeah well a question not for a gotcha or anything like that. I was I was just wondering that how come it was just like in the last four hundred if we've been around uh, this isn't a creationist oh, thought thing but. How come all of a sudden, uh, you know, because if you we look back in the ages, there was some great inventions, you know, the Egyptians and all blah, blah, this and that. But how, how did the transition come from that to suddenly, um, uh, because they, they could do it, they could use metals and stuff like that. There was philosophers then, there was engineers, there was the same. I just wondered why, like just in the last 400 years, not a conspiracy theory, it was just a question. Right. Why in the last there was a huge development in science because of it's things a very like good reason for that. 
Newton developed things like calculus yeah. and libel. We suddenly developed a whole world of maths that meant yeah, that we no, could do all sorts of more, There's an even more fundamental reason for that. Can and I answer printing. that question? Printing helped. Right. Geometry was uh, invented years ago, though. And arithmetic was thousands the, the, of years ago invented. So Newton can I, can nothing I, Can I answer that question, please? Yeah, okay. okay. It's... It's, it's it's not got anything to do with individual discoveries or inventions. What it's got to do with with the explosion that we've had is a thing called the scientific method. Yeah. Therein lies the ability for us to to uh, advance. You you must uh, understand that yeah, before, the that scientific method method was, before the scientific no, method scientific method was uh, introduced, they had all that. People investigated yeah. things. People, the, can you please not talk after me? Well, uh, actually, I will. Things. I'm just trying to get that. I'm, and, I'm just interjecting. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah of can course. Can I finish? Yeah, I'm just, but I'm going Thank to stop you. you because I know what you're going to say. I know what exactly what no, you're, you're going to say. Let him respond. You're still can you let me say it then, please? Can you let me say it? You're in, oh, but I know okay. what you're going to say. It's pointless. I know what you're going to say, but you're still missing the point. Well, then can you let me say it? it? Listen, listen. Can the, you let me say had, it, please? They had, the same, they had the same intelligent in them days as they did four, 400 years ago. And it's absurd to think they invented loads of shit. Like alchemy was done way before Newton and uh, Galileo and all these people. Alchemy's alchemy has never been done. done. Way before that. And that's all this is uh, with chemistry and stuff like that. It's, Can it's all you been, let me finish it's, my it's point, all please? Done. It's all been done thousands of years ago and that was no, just... No. The and you'll be wrong oh, in your answer. Say, can you, can you let me finish my point? Yes, I will now. I will Thank now, you. Yes. Stop yes, talking yes. over me. No, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Get back to my point now. The scientific method is the thing that let us advance. Before the scientific method came in, people investigated things, but they kept them secret. They didn't share. If a person discovered a piece of knowledge, they kept it to themselves and they didn't let other people know. But uh, that's not the scientific method. The, the scientific, scientific method that's not, that's was not the scientific, the scientific method. Scientific. Well, it, it, well, no, no, it, no. The, the scientific method is all about, uh, as well as the peer review, which is what you're basically getting at, hypothesis. is the idea of, of a hypothesis matching it against experiment. That's the high, That's what the, yeah. the, the scientific method is. Not necessarily yeah. whether you keep it secret or not. You can still have a scientific method like um, Galileo, uh, sorry, um, not Galileo, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, who kept most of his stuff secret, but he still employed a scientific method in doing what he did. But, he, but he, his, his discoveries were kept secret for about 150 years or so, so he didn't actually influence yeah, as many people as they did. It's the sharing It's the sharing of the discoveries from the scientific method. That's the important part, the, the creation of the Royal Society. Yeah. The Royal Society where they got together and they shared their ideas. Yeah. Well, and that and the elimination of uh, religious... Uh, intolerance and dogmatism that kept that suppressed science because because the difference Absolutely. between between religion and science and, and flat earth is a religion because it is it is based on the word of men and science um is against the words of men that's what that's why they hate it so much but but hang on hang on because because obviously i'm a christian but i always say that but like uh you know isn't isn't a lot of science started by christians in the first place or people who were christian yeah, like, yeah people, well, when, you, Bible, you, talk, right? when you talk about stuff you have to talk in about stuff in the last hundred years you can't be going back over over the or over the age of where we've been living at because we People were riding on carriages before that. You know what I'm saying? So no, we don't know what you're saying. That's completely ink, ink, ink. ink that no, completely we, nonsense. Point. Yes, it was gibberish. You can't. You can't. You, those people were different than you. Are, these people today are. Who are the, these people? people were not different. They were, they were completely. They were a completely different class of people. Most of those people were high class. We got. A, we got a lot of trash around here now. But that's all right. Go ahead. David, can you stop screen sharing, please? I was going to show you my Getty man image over here. I, I want to show we'll you my show new map it. that I found. Y'all been looking for a map. Yeah, Here's there one you from Getty Images. Imagine, you, know. you like that one? That's that was pretty good. Crap. Can, I, can, other, um, can, can I ask you a question? Let me just ask you a question. Why Why is Australia shaped like this in uh, on this map? But if you go to Google Images and you push in Australia, it doesn't look anything like this. Because that's the nature of this map projection, David. <laughs> No, th this is this is the new one that just came out from Getty Images. No, there's nothing really <laughs> new about that, David. No, it is. 
No, did you make that? To buy this map. Good, that map. You have to pay three hundred fifty dollars to buy this map. You see did this map you... right here, David? It's just not something for like British projection, David. I know it's the images. I have you started that, drinking I could, already? I could make no, that image in in five minutes. In five minutes in Photoshop, I could scale it up and, and print it out for you. The printing would cost you money. So what's all accurate, the, David? What's accurate take, about it? It would take me five minutes in Photoshop to do that. Is is this your map or is this the flat Earth map here? Not a map it at looks all. Pretty it's much like a globe. There's, millions, there's, like there's, there's there's millions of people on Earth that could do that in Photoshop right now. It would is, take is that a is that is that a globe map or is that a flat map right there? Highly distorted. It's 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 a it's what it's a what's it? There's a phrase which we use for radio um, knockout. Y'all go ahead. Go <laughs> walk around. Is that a ball map? No, it's a, a flat map. map. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a projection <laughs> used by people who. Yeah. Radio, radio ham to use that as a projection. That's an azimuth. azimuth. Thank you. Yes, that's right. An azimuth map. Are, are these seven continents to scale right here, or is that? Or is, uh, no, is they're, 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 they're completely than distorted, that. David. What Sorry. do you not understand about the word distorted? So it, I, it, I mean, we we are in 2018. How come I can't go to Easy Mart and buy a map of the world? Huh? You can. Uh, you you can. live in the future, David. Do you? you I'm, I'm serious. How come I can't get a map of the rest of these continents? Where do you buy them at? You can, David. You can get maps. Sure, you can. Can. <laughs> sure you can. Where are they at? What do you What do you expect out of the map, David? What can do you, you expect from the map? Well, all of your all of your uh, uh, theories are done off of a map that you don't have. Okay. No, we have a globe, David. All flat maps are going to have some elements of distortion to them. That's the nature of the beast here. Because the Earth is a sphere. If the Earth were flat, it could be mapped flat accurately without We're just talking about the land. We're not talking ding, about ding, the water. Ding, right? oh, water. We're not, we're like talking that. about the land. You we just want to see a map of the land, not the water. We don't care about that, David. Now, how yeah, we'll go ne next subject. We'll get, we'll get back to that. You're familiar with Google mind. Maps, are you, David? You're familiar with Google Maps, are you? Oh, he's a troll. David this, has a monomaniacal obsession. I just asked y'all if that was a, a flat map, map or, or a globe map, and y'all none of y'all would answer. We, it's we, a, it's a, a, we did answer. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special projection which flat flat Earth is like. But it's just can projection. I, can I, can I see the like Can I actually see a globe proje proje projection, please? What? An actual globe projection of a map of the world? You just saw one. No, that's not. You just told me it wasn't it. Yeah, it is. It is a based on the globe. From the globe it's incapable of understanding. Are the are the continents to scale? Are the continents to scale on that? No, they're not. Okay, where's a map? That, where's a map that shows the continents to scale? Use Google David. Maps. David, we have to. Maybe go use Google Maps. I want to see it laid out on a on a ten by ten wall or something. Well, that's David, flat, isn't it? Try to limit your conversation to trucking and fishing line. Let's so talk stuff you know here. Well, it's Friday here. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get on y'all a little bit. What are we gonna do with this fishing line, David? How how big does the swimming pool have to be to prove the flatness of the earth? I like the, I like the stake idea. What I was thinking the other day is, you know how you got those reflectors every mile on the road, like you're going down the road and they have the reflector every mile where it has a mile marker. Yeah. Maybe maybe even every you, tenth of you, a mile. How many how many miles would I have to get? You, you take them all five foot off the ground. And you lined them up. How many miles in a, in a line would it take for you to think the Earth's flat? If I if if you could see them one right after another, for you need miles. to have you need to have them all the same height above a flat surface, right? You got, all, you, all you do is you all you do is go down to sea level. All you do is go to sea level, right? So you do it down a beat. You do it all the way down a beat. Maybe we could do it. How many mile markers have you seen in the sea, Dave? Over a body of water, like say a canal. Like maybe in England, like Bedford. England. You do it right at the, you do it right on the beach. What about Louisiana? And you just take and you just and you just take tide into tide into account. And you, know, you just take it. And you put it right on right, one foot off where on high one foot off a high tide. Yeah, there. David, you could do this in Louisiana too. I hear there's a lake called Lake Pontchartrain. Yeah, I've heard yeah, that. we saw, we, we know about y'all's little phony stuff you pull over there. I've seen it. Have you heard of a little tensus by you, David? Well, I've already no, seen that all that. Too, that. You haven't seen it at all. That you haven't too. seen it all, brother. Um, I, speaking of soundly, his latest videos of the hotels and of the planes <laughs> are simply stunning. They're just gorgeous. Absolutely. Yep. I haven't looked at his recent ones. 
You Taking can't out. hide a whole building. So, Where, David, David, if you, you think can't it's hide a whole building on a flat Earth. So, David, if you think it's all bollocks, why don't you go to Lake Pontchartrain, go and get your camera out, your, your high-risk camera, zoom in, and then you can see the curve for yourself along that bridge. No one else has to be involved. You can do it yourself, and you can confirm the curvature of the Earth just by doing that all by yourself. Well, we've shown that to them multiple times, and they simply deny it. Yeah, but he thinks it's a pretend it's a just lie. Go to, just go, I go to Google and just go Lake Pontchartrain photos and, and go to images on Google, and every one of those images that come up besides the one that y'all are showing is all showing flat. So what See, do you want to say are, about these, that? These just go to Google images and push in Lake Pontchartrain, and 500 photos will come up of the of it, and it's all they're all look like it's level as can be. The main. So show us one. Show us one. Yeah, I was going to say, let's do it, David. Google images. Can you do it, David? No, no, you show us one. You're making a claim. Show us the okay, evidence. Okay, I'll hold on a second. I'll go over here. Oh well, yeah, well, hold on. I'm more than happy. How yeah, many? Sure. How how many meters of them that mast was missing? You know the big mast at the back that was on the other side of the shore. How many meters was it? Does anybody remember? What are you talking? About? Yeah, you need to show you us. What what you're like, you know, the um, uh, the um, uh, the curvature one. He took one of the, I think it was the film. I'm not sure. You know the one with the funny looking pylon. People were saying, "Oh, it's You know, it was reflecting. There's what the one with the the pylons going over the curve. Yeah. But you could see across the other side of the water, you could see a big pylon. I think it was 200 and something feet tall, but I think there was 100 foot missing or something, and it worked out with the curvature. So, right. So it agrees with, so it agrees with curve there, okay? Well, yeah, well, let me, uh, but, well, uh, yeah, yeah, but I, I was just going to say, though, well, that big, that big pylon there, right, that's, that's part of the, um, uh, there's a nuclear uh, power station over there on there on Lake Pontchartrain, yeah. And you can actually see you can actually see the other you can actually see the shoreline when you zoom in, and you can see buildings that are, and you can go to Google Maps and look at them, and you can actually see the buildings there that are not that that wouldn't be seen over the horizon, but you can clearly see, and you can actually. You can actually see the trees. Show us in... the picture. If you're just telling us this, I don't think we can. I bet this railroad track over here. I bet that's this railroad looking... track's built. Yeah, but that's yeah, not... I'm... I'm... You're only looking railroad... about, what, 200 yards along it? Well, you want to look along the length of it and see what, I think, is it 10 miles long or something? If you just look at one six, a, 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 a two or 300 yard section of it, that's irrelevant. How about, how about this oh railroad God. track right here? Yes, it's only 200 it's yards. Over Lake Ponte train. I bet nobody's walked over and looked at it, huh? You want to look along it into the distance. Look at that. I bet that's, so good. I bet that's level all the way across. And you and you could really figure it out easy. All you do is that's hop in the cat. That's only 200 truck, yards of track. What's the point of train tracks? You could tell it's only 200 yards of track. Man, that's Dave a far, across wrong. Lake Ponte <laughs> train right there. That railroad track is. David, yeah. that's not across the lake. That is across the lake. the lake, right there. Wait, David. In order, to... that's only a small portion of it that he's showing. You need to zoom. You need to go up. I bet, I bet that's flat right there. How much you want to bet? And my all the way across. <laughs> I'll lay a thousand dollars on that. Show us a picture of oh, looking God. along the track into the distance, so we can see the far end, say about six or seven miles away. If you look down here on this. I bet every that water line would be you even can bet all what you the way like. across. Yeah, there's no point bet. in showing us a track. <laughs> but all the way across David. this right here on this railroad track, it'd be it would be to show us a track going you know, about six miles. There's no point in showing us a track. How about you go there, David, yards. and put your camera on the track and look along the track? Yes. Maybe I'll David, do that. I'm not, I'm not too far from Louisiana. I mean I mean, David, the mere fact that you think that this picture is ever I'm gonna take my dog down there. I'm gonna take my dog down there and walk reflects across very the poorly on your IQ road trip. if you don't road understand trip. what you have to do to demonstrate. Hey, you can go down there, you can go down there and stick a stick down. All you do is you take a measuring stick. And you go down there and you stick it to the bottom. Every and I bet it's level all the way across. That's well, you right. bet we don't, like, don't, but Dave. the pictures don't, don't agree with you, Dave. It's evidence. If you take a picture along the track, you will see it bending. The evidence disagrees with what you're betting. Is Road this the trip. first time meeting him, Rumpus? Yeah, Rumpus, you don't understand. He's an absolute moron, isn't he? I mean, I mean, I mean, even I, I thought a flat good. earther wouldn't present us with 200 yards of track and say, look, there you are, the earth is flat. I mean, even the basic I just flat come, earthers I, understand. Y'all said pull up all the pictures of Lake Pontchartrain, uh, okay. short, the world's longest bridge over Lake Pontchartrain. Yeah, but you're only looking at 200 yards Pontchartrain. of it, for Christ's sake. There's no point. Look, here's the view. 
few more pictures of it. I got a whole bunch more pictures of it. Yeah, right. There you go. Right. We need a right, David. I'll explain it to you. You need a picture oh. that goes yeah. on a whole bunch of them. the track. Do you understand, David? We need a picture of the track looking along it into the distance so that we can see you say six or seven miles into the distance. That's the I sort of picture train, we need. I think train I think trains prove flat earth. <laughs> How come he's in troll? Come on. So <laughs> David, he's simply impervious. He's simply impervious. David, you willing to put your money where your mouth is? As an yeah, of course. That's what I said. I'll put a thousand put bucks at that. I, I put a thousand bucks at that, that oh, bridge is level all the way across. You gonna put a thousand dollars into an escrow account? The I do that. You is gonna level. sign a contract? You're gonna this sign a contract on the condition? <laughs> I do that. If somebody will match it. I'll do it. The bridge probably is level all the way across. It probably it, it is. You know it is curved. So shut it up never over there. It's curved. It can be level. Y'all already lost. Ding ding knockout. Next subject. You have to understand, David is the world's premier geodetic truck driver. <laughs> I didn't think people came quite stupid as him. I mean, that's quite I impressive. More respect the, the show us a picture of 200 yards worth of track and then claim that's indication of its flatness. So that, that takes some beating, actually. I can't uh, he's, he's actually already beat this. This is probably one of his better ones. Really? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. That's special. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. David, David. David, do you know what the Marriott Hotel looks like in New Orleans? Can you pull up a picture of that? I had, I, it's been a long time. I, I, I just drove through there. I didn't stop. Do you know what it looks like? Have you, ever... you go ahead and pull it up. I'm already tired of typing over here. Have you ever Sorry. gotten beef <laughs> thrown at you in New Orleans, David? I did, I've never Any... partied in New Orleans. Oh, you never been down there? I thought you might be the type to collect beef there. No, I had never partied down there. <laughs> Oh my God! Did, did, uh, did Marriott Hotel? Is this the Marriott Hotel? I'm sharing now. Uh, is this is this the Marriott Hotel in New Orleans? It, What's this sure, That's Marriott on the side, so I would assume it is. Yeah. So we are coming up on about one hour of this broadcast so if i'll run through my links and then i'll pass you back to the action in a moment so if you are new to this channel or you have not done so already which is about 50 percent of the people watching this please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the flat earth debate if you would like to support this channel then there is a super chat that runs alongside the show while it is live so toss a buck or two in there if you are enjoying these live streams and most importantly if you would like to join the debate there is a link in the info box below this video. Currently we have a full panel of 10 people so you may have a bit of trouble till someone has a network error or drops but when they do feel free to click that link and join the discussion. There are a couple of rules in the hangout. Number one please do not swear. If you do you will be ejected and if you are please do not try to rejoin Join the stream using sock accounts. You've probably seen if you're in the live chat now that I've been asking people continually to share the show as it does increase the live audience of course and that in turn increases the likelihood of a more diverse panel. So please share the show and a massive thank you to all who have done that already. One more time if you have not subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. Come on Ali. Come on. Ali? Ali's got this. He's got this. Been yeah, Ali comes up with good stuff. Yeah, I'm just well, I'm I'm in the middle of finding this picture, so carry on, guys. I was, okay. I was but you can click the wall. You can picture I've, I've it. Picture. If, you, if you look into, I've, I've got the photograph, right? I found it. I found the one I was talking about, but I'm just okay. going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Move on. Could you could you comment and then on? See what you've got to where's see. Riley at? We need to get Riley in here to beat up on y'all for a little bit. Could you comment on the sh on the picture we're showing now, Ali. Yeah, well, let him finish. His, if he's looking at his, let him finish oh, yeah. researching whatever he's trying to research. So, I mean, David, um, you must have the IQ of a vegetable or something. I mean, do you find that people would say you're rather stupid in real life? I mean, it's, it's just extraordinary oh, the things you're saying. I think he's trolling myself. I mean, like, uh, Dave's actually I, 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 I don't know Dave, you love him. David, if it was the end of the world scenario, we're, you'd rather be with me than you're that. Hey, David, explain to him how to calculate the weight of the ISS. Come on, Dad. They'll start that up now. Where's 14, Lewis at? 14.7 pounds times the... Uh, oh, it's a pe the, how many Pepsi the cans does it take area. to make a, make a base station? No, 14.7 pounds per square inch times That's the surface area. Match. That sure is a good match. 
Yeah. It is an excellent match, isn't it? We'll just go back I, to that. The picture now, if uh, Nathan wants to share it. I predict that. Why you show that one? Show that, that railroad track. We need, go, we need some more pictures at railroad track, I guess. Absolutely no, no, no. I'm just going to show you something. Let me see if I can find it. You're presenting now, Ali. No, I'm a, right, good. Uh, right, let me see. If, I've, I'm going to try and zoom in and I'll just show you what I have. Is that zooming in? Yeah. Ah, cool. Right, can you see this here? There's a better picture. I just couldn't find it. But see these here, right? You can obviously see these are these are buildings here, right? It's horribly this, low resolution for me. I don't know. If yeah, it's, but there's a better picture. It's just, this is just wait, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me let me finish. Uh, Steve. This this was just a quickie. There is a better one out there, but I can't uh, seem to find it. And you can see there's a tree line now. The problem is, we know that's the horizon there, right? Now that's uh, depending how high up he was. I can't remember. What, what's the time? Up. Can you tell me what the time stamp of that video is, and I'll go and get a better grab or something. Yeah, it's it's actually a photograph, and it it, it was off uh, Google Images, but I, I think. Oh. Uh, I'm sure. So. Yeah, this is this is off of Google Images, but this is the same shot I was talking about. But there is, you can actually see it on the buildings that are attached. There's a nuclear power plant just behind this pile. Yeah, well, we can't see this, I'm afraid, Ali. I think there's very little point in you pointing oh, at something. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I've got one for you for Lake Pontchartrain. I hear it. Right, 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 right. Ali, let, let Ali okay, no. presentation. No, I mean, that's it. There we go. Uh, Fine. Yeah. Off okay. Okay. yeah. So, so, so that was, um, what was that supposed to show, Ali? Nice one. What was that supposed to demonstrate to us? Right. If I can finish then. As you notice, the piling started sloping away, right? Now, we could only see that horizon line. So obviously, it's the, that, that was the horizon, or that was the beginning of the curvature where, where the piling sloped away so, and there was apparently so many... How many feet was missing off the the uh, that pile in there, and you could clearly see, right, that the that the um, uh, the trees were higher than the pylons that were in the tree. foreground, just at the horizon. There were no trees. There were no trees, there were no trees in that image. How, 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 right, you know, right, stop, were... stop a second, please stop a second. Let me finish, yeah. right? As, as I already Mike, said, there's a better picture. There's a bit. Well, you listen, please. There's a better Are we picture the there. way you do or the way you want us oh, to? Come on, I'll, I'll actually well, wait a minute. Listen, listen. Can you finish? finish? There's a better resolution, right? There's a better resolution out there that you can see the actual um, buildings that are attached to the, power, uh, the nuclear power station that's across the other side, right? And you can go to Google Maps. I'll, I will find I will, I will find a better resolution. Yeah, picture. I think you need to. I think Ali. You know, I think you're not really yeah, making I'm sense. So now, right. if, if you can, if you can, right, if you can, how would you explain that then? Yeah, I think. I, you bet, you, I, I bet you every log that was cut for that rail bridge, were they were all the same length. I bet they. I bet that all the way across, it didn't matter. I bet that's. Not, I bet every every log was cut to cut to scale. That's not what, hey, what are you talking about? While he's asking. No, I've finished. I've finished. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so but uh, yeah, if you get the, if, as, as long as you can show that that actually is a tree, because you can't really tell, obviously, from our perspective. Looking no, no, you can see buildings and trees. Oh, well, I'll definitely find the, yeah. no, why am I going to lie about it? You know, I'm not going to make no, 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 I know you. I will find, you know I would, but I'll yeah. find that, but I was just wondering, right? If you could see that, right, how would you explain that? Because you can clearly see after four miles or five miles, they pile and start going. Well, it would depend on, it would, Ali, it would depend on how high that building is. It would depend on how high the observer is. And it would depend on how far away it yeah, was well, from the, the observer. Building, we, would have, the, we would have to know all of those things to give yeah. you an answer to that question. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Can I just interrupt you and say hello to Pete right. Southend, who's just joined us? Sorry to interrupt you all. Can you say a quick hello, Pete? Hitler was a good person. He's just misunderstood. Good to have you here, Pete. <laughs> I read books as well, P. Mars. How much does a train weigh? Do you imagine how much how much a train weighs? You you think they they built a bridge to to 
the going around the curvature of the earth. Earth. You, you think there's a bridge made for trains that shows the curvature of the earth? Do you believe that? Is it pressurized? Yes. Is the train well, pressurized? You Do you believe there's a there's a, a train bridge that trains is made especially for trains that's curved to the earth surface, huh? If it's where's that sign? Pull that one out. If it's the same height above the water, um, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's a, here's an image I found. Of, uh, this is the it's level earth, huh? The pylons, um, whatever, whatever. This is the, the set of pylons. I think that go across north south, don't they? Across Lake Pontchartrain. Um, I don't think that was the. Uh, I, I don't think it was yours. They're all pylons. level, man. Well, you can see they're curved. You can clearly see they're not. Yeah, they're level in yeah, sense they're the same distance above the. Uh, I, I showed you the same picture a minute ago, and it was flat. So what do you want to do? It's the way the camera is. No, no, no. The, you did not show us a picture oh. along the line. You just showed us two hundred yards. This picture here covers, I suspect, about six or seven miles. So that's so, what. So you they took it. So you, you, you really think the guys that built that took in the count of the curvature of the Earth? You they think didn't that? Have huh? to. Yeah. They didn't have no, to. they didn't have to. They didn't have to because oh the water was just curving because that's what water does. That's huh? what it does. That's right. It does curve over a distance of sure ten miles or so. It does. Sure, yes. it does. Good. Uh, I'm prove that. that. There's the evidence. No, there's agree. the picture evidence in front of you. Is the demonstration that it's curving? No, that, that's, that's, a, that's a camera that's jacked up. Is what that is. No, but that, that what's irrelevant. It's this curving. You can see that it's changing its angle. It's irrelevant where you put the camera to get a curve. I on see it. pictures of Santa Claus all over town right now too. You know what I mean? Yeah, David, you, you know, all, the slight yeah, bit different. The what picture, you do or what you see. Whole thing of I like it, my train my pictures. Hey, I, I, I tell you this. I tell you this. If there, if if there's any coverage of the Earth over a lake, and that train would ch change RPMs as it was going across that bridge, that okay. Wouldn't. Right. No. What you don't understand? It sure Why? would. What are you talking no, about? Cool. It wouldn't change RPM because it's it, it's got. Why? It's, it's not going uphill. Right. Either it's going to come, either it's it's not come going off uphill. of it. You're crazy because it is. Think about how long a train is. Okay. Let's right. let's discuss the change in elevation versus. Where's train. your Where's your scientist at that will tell you how uh, you take the length of a train and you take it over water, and and that and you can prove there's a curve. If if you got a train that's a Half mile long, then you should be what able to tell somewhere on that train long. going across. So you should try to tell these stories, but then you had no go proof because there's no proof on the ground. Me. Okay, sure, there's I no proof on the ground person. other than a photo that y'all take. Okay, what no proof on the ground? If you can, Rumpus, if you, if you want to show that picture again, you just showed. Uh, well, I actually wanted to show this picture. I don't know if I, if it, can you can you see my um. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Right. Um, this, this is something I don't think David appreciates. Um, uh, can you see um, this? Uh, this is this is a model of my model of the Earth that I've used for some time. Can you see this point here where it says A zero? Can you see that? I already seen this. You already seen you do this the other day. Okay. Well, no. Well, I haven't done this for about six months, so I'm pretty surprised if you've seen Somebody it. Somebody had one just like it. it wasn't exactly like this. Okay. Go well, ahead. right. Can you can you see the where it says A zero? I understand. Go ahead. You can How many miles is it? How well, many feet well, is it? Can you please answer the question? Can you see where it says A0? I understand that. I just want to know how Mark, many feet it is. Can you just say okay? yes or no? Can you see A0? You go ahead and explain it to yourself yeah, like that. I, 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 I want to know if you can see <laughs> okay. the detail. You I can go ahead and try it. Man, I'm just not worried about your horizons, man. I'm worried about I'm worried about how many yeah, feet it is until the curve starts. I just want to know if you can see the pixels. That's all I'm asking. Can you see the words A0? I can see your stuff over here. Go ahead. Right. That's all I wanted to know. Right. So do you understand that something here at A0 is at the same height as something down here, which is not got a pointer to it, but I'll put, uh, if you can see my pointer, hopefully you can see my pointer, which yep. is wiggling around here. That is at the same height as well. So if you had a train track going from all the way from A0, all the way to this base, this building, which is a model of the... Um, the one in Chicago, I forgot his bloody name now, um, the third tallest building in the US. Um, the, all those points along there at the same height, although it's curved, all the points on there are the same height. So if you had a train, as long as that's, um, this distance here would be about 2,000 miles in this model, or 3,000 miles. Even if there was a train 3,000 miles long, going from there to there on this curved surface, every single point on that train would be exactly the same height. It's not going uphill, it's not going downhill, because as I've indicated here, down points to the center of the earth. So the direction of down and up changes as you move along the surface and of that, the earth. And all that, and all that is because of gravity, right? 
they don't yes. understand that wrong. Yes. All that, all that, all those conclusions are come because of gravity. Is that correct? Well, uh, well, yeah. gravity. So we don't want to hear it. We, there's people, there's uh, people that believe in the flat Earth don't believe in gravity uh, the way that y'all explain. Well, if, you it ever, if you've got a, if you've got something in your hand, you let go of it. Gravity is demonstrated. The mere fact of you dropping something that. from your hand. Well, it's more dense and you got the air. ISS up there floating around too. So, what do you want to say about that? What's, what's gra how's gravity holding it up? Holding what up? I missed the word. Sorry. The ISS. Oh, it's well, the, our it, atmosphere. So it was holding yes. it up. Right. Huh? Okay. But it's holding it up. Right. Oh, have, have you ever spun on something? Up there, huh? Hold on. Hold on. Have you ever spun something round on the end of a string? So, if you spin something, have an apple or something on the end of a string, and you spin it round. How about the things you used to buy at the dollar store that had the little ball on it where you could right, hit so it? So, okay, well, never mind when you bought it. The point is, <laughs> you're familiar with the concept, are you, uh, of spinning something around and it's staying upright? So, if you spin something around at going at very high speed, it can defy gravity. And that's what the ISS does. It's going around at 27, oh, sorry, 17,000 miles an hour. It's going around very, very quickly. If it was stationary, it would fall to Earth immediately. But because it's going around very, very quickly, just like something you were spinning on the there end of a friction a up there? Very friction where it's at, huh? Very no, little friction. No. It's almost very friction little friction. Free. Huh? So there's a very little, there, there's there's friction, little, right? There's a little bit of atmosphere. Well, now they're traveling 17,000 miles an hour. Against friction, huh? Well, no, no, there's very little. It's almost, it's almost a vacuum, very near. So how's it being powered? How's it being powered then? Yes, well, it's, it's, well, you, once you get up that, you did see the big rockets. You do, you are familiar with no, what no, you don't. You, you're gonna talk yourself in a corner over here. You keep Hold on. on. Listen, uh, listen for a moment. You are familiar with watching rocket launches, aren't you? You know those big engines. Don't engine believe things. in rockets. They don't believe in rockets. Y'all better, y'all better come in and save him. He's already get, he already got knocked out a couple times over here. Hold on, hold on. You're familiar with the space shuttle and those big rockety things that stick out things. You're familiar with those, are you? That's I'll how it gets it. up to speed. It's, once it's it points. Yeah. And, it's all and once favorite. it points at an angle to the, uh, once you get to point horizontally towards the earth, and you go at 17,000 miles out, just like a core, something spinning on the end of a rotating uh, cord, it can stay there, particularly because there's very, very little friction. It's almost zero, but it's not quite zero. So therefore, there's nothing to slow it down. And therefore, once it gets into orbit, it will stay there. It doesn't need to fire any more rockets, though. It, there's a because there's a tiny, tiny, tiny element of friction. You do have to give it a it's little. Thirty pounds per square inch, and they were telling me that thing's as big as a as a box car or a tank car. Weighs like what? forty-four ton, four hundred forty tons or something. So what? Do you count yeah, for give, dark give matter? Break on that, I'd have to see it to believe it. Well, you can. You can look up into the sky and you can see the space station. Go ahead and take pictures of it, like some people have. Maybe I can do it on Lake Pontchartrain uh, Bridge and do that. You can go take your own pictures it. of the space station. You can take your own pictures of Lake Pontchartrain and see the curvature as that picture that I showed you. You can do both of those things yourself and see the evidence of the space station, and you can see the evidence of the curvature of the Earth. Very simple. I go drive a thousand miles and figure that out. Well, go on then. Do it. Yeah. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're be better than spending a thousand dollars on it, on us, save yourself a lot of money doing that. Uh, how, how much it costs you to get down to like? No one believes your story that you that, everyone, that it's all flat and level. Okay, okay man, it's all a ball. Okay, it. there's an up and a down. There's a side. It's curves. Okay, there's a curve somewhere. Where's it at? How many miles until you get to it? You have well, to lay this right. Where's the, where is the where is the place in Earth where you can measure curvature at? Where's your where you ought to have like the ball earth curvature uh museum or or, or resort where people you go and see the <laughs> see the curvature of the earth. Five hundred years ago, children what understand it. The ball yeah. earth curvature. But these, what do you want these, to know about it? David, David is not casino. David you could do that. a troll, Rumpus. He's a troll. No, I, I think he's genuinely stupid. I think the way he's talking, you can see he's just very, very stupid. No, honestly, it's up for debate. <laughs> no, because you see, think, I, I think people do assume people are trolling when they're not. And you don't, you've got to allow for the fact that people are very, very stupid. And you can just say the you way he's. You can see his channel. And you can see his English and the way he forms sentences and the other stupid arguments he makes. He clearly is very stupid. He's not intelligent enough to be a troll. Right, go ahead. You go ahead. You already got knocked out. You can get up and get knocked out again. Go ahead. <laughs> you're, you're too stupid to realize no, that. Nobody believes what? your story, okay? Everyone no believes your, nobody you believes pictures. your pictures over here. I showed you a picture of the curving uh, well, pylon line. Us, on just Lake show us a place where we could go and see that curvature you're talking about. Lake Pontchartrain. I've just said it. Lake Pontchartrain and look along the tracks. Exactly. Okay. Okay, you can do it. well, and you can do it yourself. You need to put up a thousand bucks then. I'll go over to the railroad bridge and you go to Lake Pontchartrain. We'll see. Yeah, okay, you do that. Well, you, you, you will be surprised if you get out. You need to decent that story. 
you need a camera with a decent zoom on it, and you yourself can go and so see. So you're telling me you telling me you had a reflector up in, uh, above the water, a foot above the water, reflector up all the way down for uh, how so, so many so miles so across the like pond? Right? Do, do anything? You think you think that you think that it would they would come offline at some point? Huh? So, what's the reflector? What are you talking about? You are talking about reflectors? I'm just saying, just take a camera. Uh, how about if I, how about if I straight? Just, we'll go back to the fishing line for curve over here. You think there if you I go. had an imaginary fishing line and stretched it across, that there would it, it, it would just all. You wouldn't know, and it was level all the way across that it would be going around the earth, right? Yeah, it would, yeah. Just, sure just, like, this would, just like this diagram, David, it curves here, and you, if you were uh, this eye at A0, and then you could go to this building, you would, your, 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 your fishing line on the surface of the water would follow this line here, and every single part of it would be at the same height, even though it's going around a curve. For how many miles is that? that on this model, if this was the earth, that would be about 3,000 miles on my model here. All right, then. So we're up to three thousand miles to the curve now. Oh no, you can detect it. But you don't say we can see okay. it. We, you say we can see it on six miles, but we're at three thousand miles now. Well, no, you can see it on the Lake Pontchartrain. You only need about six or seven to get a, uh, that picture I showed you earlier. That so you should you be able to measure it. Then is that right? You, can you measure it? Of course you can. Okay, how do you do it? Well, um, last come on, year, genius, hurry up. Right, George Natty. Start to stutter over. He's starting he start to stand like a stuttering fool over there. Go ahead. No, sorry, the only to has, like, the rumpus, sorry to interrupt. The rumpus. Sorry to interrupt. Just a second. This earlier this the rumpus. Year, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Can you just stop screen sharing, just so I can let it flick between who's speaking? Okay. Thank this you. This is a debate over here. You go ahead and try back me in on corner. I'm not worried about it. You want me to stop screen sharing? Okay. So is it three thousand miles or six miles? You can go and um, you can go and to Lake Pontchartrain, showing that picture that I showed you earlier. I'll just go and get that again. I want to measure it with a ruling tape, man. Fishing line. Yeah, how, fishing line with, uh, how, how about a ruler? Where where can where can you measure that curve with a ruler, huh? Um, well, how come I've never seen any? How come I've never seen the ballers out there uh, showing me the curve with a ruler somewhere? Where's the curve? Here's the curve. Up. We got. The curve. We found the curve, folks. Hey, Look, Dave, the ballers win. We're, we're, put a roll. Put a roll. Dave, go by a seven mile long ruler. The mania is setting in. A little bit of mania. <laughs> pressured speech. I mean the the no. drop. The drop. The mantle. Just the, a little. Bit. Your guys. Your man over here is telling us that we can measure it with a ruler. Ruler over here, guys. Well, the, the drop of is is what three inches for a mile. Um, was it six inches? Mark, I remember now. Um. Uh, so, it, unfortunately, to do that is a precision um, measuring exercise, and you're, you're, I suspect you're barely capable of putting your trousers on. So, the idea of you in sorting out the engineering I already issues, told you how to do it. All you do, if you, if there, if there's even three inches with that big old train going across there, you, you have no idea. You'd feel it. I promise no, you. No, you wouldn't, because it's at the same height. You, as I explained uh, you to you, would with be able to measure it some way. You would be able to measure it. No, you way. wouldn't. Yes, because. Yes. No, because you're not going uphill. You're at the same height. You're the same distance from the center of the earth. Therefore, there's no change in your height. Part of the train's going to be on another part, man, because it's so long against that no, bridge. No, where I'm you, the show, again, aren't you? you didn't understand. You don't understand. If you have 100 boxcars lined up behind that thing, okay, it doesn't matter if it's a if it's a, a, a three-centimeter grade. that You're going to feel it, okay? You didn't understand my diagram, did you? No, I understand completely. No, I know how did. things work. Right, I'm so not stupid, did. okay? If at A0 here, you're exactly the same height as you are down here. Exactly sure the same are. height. You go ahead There's and believe no that. Difference. There is no go difference. Go ahead and believe that. Height. I'm not worried about it. So, so there is no centimeter difference. You're not having to go up a centimeter hill, and you might think that in this diagram you're going gravity. downhill, but you're not you're because we down, live on the ball and the gravity's down you to the ball, so you don't notice it. That's what See, you're see saying. Down here, that's where down is. Down is there, there, and up here, down is there. Down changes direction. Okay, let me ask you something. If there was no gravity. If there was no gravity, would you feel the down? If you were riding, if there was no water, <laughs> right? And you were, on, there, if you were on the ground, right? There is and gravity. you took away the but, gravity, right? <laughs> but you but you had a track that was hooked to the ground, right? Undo your trousers, track, undo your, the belt of your going trousers, up and down you'll discover this gravity. Uh, would you? You'll discover the Answer gravity. The Keep your trousers will pull your trousers down. Uh, if you managed to put your trousers on, that is, of course. It's, it's but if you did manage to get your trousers on, you undid the belt, you'd suddenly discover that gravity would bring that towards the center of the earth. And if you were to take your trousers to some to somewhere many miles away, the trousers would go in a different direction because they're always going to go to the center of the earth. 
and that will be in a different direction depending on where you are on the surface of the earth it'll always point to the center so down changes so there's no going uphill or downhill when you go along the surface of the earth as you've got into your little head you keep on using the same argument oh but if it was only a centimeter i asked know, you if there was no gravity will there be an up and down hill Yes. That's what I asked you. Well, no, gravity defines what's up and down. That we that okay. determines. All right, then. ding, ding, knockout. <laughs> gravity's, so, gravity's a theory. Gravity's a theory. It's, okay. No, it's not. Your trousers are subjected to gravity, it's, and they and if you were to undo your belt, you'd see it manifest itself. All right, next subject. Go ahead. You, you really? Yeah. I can't believe I've got someone who's denying the existence of gravity, which all you do realize that all gravity is. Is the, is the force that's applied to things towards the center of the Earth. That's all gravity is, nothing more. What about yeah, dark they, they matter? Deny, they deny dark matter, matter can matter, please. interact with regular matter. Actually, it is more than that. Well, it is a bit, yeah, okay. The, the, the curvature of the space-time. But but the uh, the laws depend around gravity, the effects no. that you experience are just simply no. that um, nothing more than the force. Gravity is, it yeah. can manifest itself as a force, and that force is directed towards the center of the Earth. It has a magnitude, of course. So that's all you really need to know about it. It's a force, which means it's going to pull your trousers down, and it's pointing in a certain direction with a certain force. If you I want, can make a point with one word, Rumpus Cavendish. That's what yeah, I'm exactly. getting. You could be, you could measure that. They, um, deny, they the, deny the Cavendish too. Right, but I'm just saying it's not all about just to the center of the Earth gravity. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, in that sense, yes, gravity is just the attraction of masses. Should, yes, so so you yeah. Should nominate, you should nominate uh, David for DF of the Year, Rumpus. Yeah. No. This Gravity is, doesn't explain uh, like galactic motion. This is Riley's here. It does. Yeah, it does. The other thing is, one thing I, I'd like to know is if you took a mile of fishing line and laid it across one of those uh, train track rails, would it lay down flat or not? Hold on, I got to take this phone call. It's a mere theory. I'm amazed, I'm amazed he can use a telephone. Oh, I love Dave. He's awesome. I, I tell you, I bet his trousers, getting his trousers on is the most difficult intellectual task he faces each day. I don't know. He's got a good mm -hmm. point. I got money on the fishing line playing, laying flat on the uh, train track row. God, how high would you have to pull a fishing line in order to Just get ask it. anyone who's going to come, please make it a flat earther who's going to come on. We need flat earthers. Because, because even a fishing line is going to be subject to gravity. But yeah, I'm just saying, come on, not guys. From Mr. Earth, whatever right. his name is. I don't know, Mr. Whatever your name is. Let's have a look. Mr. What else? Full lead. curve. Flat yeah. curve. Do I? What's that? Just see, we've got ten people on the panel, which means no one can get on. But I'm just yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I just, I just, just asking if a flat earther could join. It'd be awesome. So we have more flat. I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. I'm, I'll be leaving. You're a flat earther. <laughs> stay, stay. You know oh, no. you right, anyway, guys, take care. Have no need now. Uh, okay. Yeah. No need for anyone to leave now because um, Mr. Flat Curves dropped, which is good of him. Thank you, Mr. Flat Curve. So there is now gap, one gap on the panel. How's your search coming, Ali? Are you getting the better resolution with the tree? Oh, right. It's, oh, it's fine. It's a waste of... Uh, yeah, yeah. I found... I've got all I need to know anyway. I was just looking... At, I, was, I was just watching some videos here of the... So what is, your, what is your evidence? I'm not, I'm not... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's a waste of time. Are you going to show? No. No, I'm not. So no you don't have anything? You don't have anything? No. Yeah, I'm, I have absolutely nothing. And I'm hiding... And I made all that up, what I just said there. So, yeah, well, so I'm not going to show anything. So, once again, the ballers win. Good for you guys. If you have something, you can show it, Ali. That's the way we ah, do it. No, but see, the thing is, if I show it, everybody just jumps on it. There's no real point. I've already sort of learned that anyway. So, well, wouldn't the point? I was just coming in for a chat. I was just uh, coming in for a wee general chat. I just wondered about that question. That question earlier on, that was it. It was. To me, it's a fascinating thing how science just turned up. No, but you know, when yeah, that was it. I was just wanting a chat. It didn't make, any sense, at it didn't make right. any sense at all. So, so when you can form complete sentences, let us know. Yeah. Okay. No problems, Brenda. Yeah. So, so um. Uh, you'll be the first. You'll be the first to know. I'd like to. Yeah. No yeah. problems. It's all good. So, so the point in presenting something that people are going to shoot down 
is to have them shoot it down so that yeah, you can but... adjust, so that you can adjust your beliefs accordingly if you present something and people demonstrate to you that it is wrong then that is a good thing because then you can adjust your beliefs and say oh look i i was wrong i need yeah, to but, change like, see that's but that's like a that's like a two-way thing right I know that if I if I get proven wrong, I'll totally you know I've done U-turns uh, loads of times, man. You know, and and, and I've uh, I'm I'm totally honest with myself. I, I'm not a, but if I thought it was going to be reciprocated, that if I got into a discussion with any any ball earthers about this and saying, oh, isn't that interesting anyway, and blah blah, but you won't why adjust. Why you, uh, no, listen, you won't. You listen. Why? Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll let you talk. Uh, you you won't adjust your beliefs as you've proven before. No, you know, that's on not all, true. all these that's chats true. and stuff like that, you don't. None that's of you's actually change. You won't even You won't even entertain. Ali's more open-minded than Brian. You wouldn't can I respond to that one with a quite a reasonable answer? Well, okay, no, can I finish? Like, uh, let me finish actually, right? But just let me finish what I'm going to say. I'll just take two more seconds. But you yous won't change uh, your belief. You won't even entertain the fact you come from a adversarial standpoint. Or most most ball earthers do, whereas, well, I can't talk for anybody else, but I'm certainly works. open. Listen, I'm certainly open, and there's plenty of proof out there. I'm certainly open because Gums. I'm into my give us, give, us proof. give us one. Give us one piece of proof. The, the uh, eagle. Ali does like, I, he likes to believe in the moon landing, he believes in satellites and things. He's really cool. Because... No, I don't believe in them. I know they happened. Yeah, I, yeah. And I know satellites are real. And I know the ISS is real. It's not a belief. It's not a belief. It's knowledge. And I know they exist. Ali, so I can I respond? You. Can I what respond? You listen, listen, Thank listen, you. Let's get something straight here. Okay, while these guys start talking over each other, hopefully it'll settle down in a few more minutes. I hope you're all enjoying the debate thus far. We have a little over half an hour left on this debate stream. So if you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you can keep up to date with these Flat Earth debates. If you would like to support this channel, there is a link to Super Chat that runs alongside the show while it is live. And if you would like to join the debate, there is currently one gap on the panel. Simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link below this video to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. There are a couple of rules in the hangout. Number one, please do not swear. If you do, you will be ejected. And number two, if you are ejected, please do not try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. I'm giggling because I can see them all muting each other while I'm doing these links. So one more time, if you've not shared the show already, please click that share button as it does increase the live audience, which in turn increases the diversity of the panel. And again, if you've not subscribed, be, to be sure to smash that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the flat earth debate well I I, I just wanna, I, ali i would like to hear your very you say there's lots of proof for the flat earth can you please present me with your very best piece of evidence for the flat earth uh inertial navigation systems and spirit levels and theodolites oh right yeah, so I you think know. spirit levels you think spirit levels indicate a flat earth <laughs> so that's yeah. very Right, but uh, mm -hmm. as I've demonstrated to David with my diagram about flat Earth, the fact that the down changes direction, you you could in theory um, yeah, you get a spirit do... level in a, a, a you get a spirit level in a um, what do you call it a theodolite, and I've yeah. worked with them. That's right, and in fact, with those you can actually prove the Earth because you get a, if you get a theodolite and you in fact it's they're so sensitive these days you only need to have them about six hundred meters apart. If you set them one to be horizontal and you set another one only six hundred meters away, also to be horizontal, you'll see that the laser beams that come out of them actually do not cross uh, horizontally; they actually cross going upwards. You would, in fact, the very thing you suggested proves the Earth is spherical. And if you, yeah. and in fact, this is something that um, George Nutty yeah. did as well. Um, that you can just show by just getting a field light, six hundred meters apart, and you they'll cross over, but not be horizontal. You will not if you set them to be horizontal, they will not be looking to one another's lenses because the you can actually detect the curvature even over six hundred meters. So in fact, the yeah, yeah, are you measure with a, you, you said stop, we could measure stop. with a measuring stick, didn't you? Stop, stop, stop. Did you stop. Let me answer that, please, David. Let me address that. Well, the thing is, over six hundred meters, that uh, they're, they're, uh, they're, uh, they've got an error margin on them. Yeah, yeah. 
Right. That's right, but but it's within the error <laughs> because they're so, because they're so sensitive. We have a minute to test the water light, but we have a minute to test the water lights. So you, they'll usually do measurements over a hundred meters, kind well, of max. Because, uh, well, because, uh, well, wait, let me finish. Okay. Because uh, uh, because of the fact is the error margin it get it, it gets worse as it goes. About hundred meters, you get plus or minus. Yeah, yeah. And Ali, Ali, you can get some sensitive ones and they will work over a distance of, say, 600 metres. And with them, you can Ooh, what, demonstrate... What's the, make, then? What, what's the make of that? Uh, what make? Oh, God, uh, um, uh, damn it. It's the one that George got. Um, uh, also, and in fact, actually, um, Hogtie Champ has actually got one, uh, I believe, that would do that. I believe this story. Where, where's the video at? Go ahead and pull the video up. we got to no, see no, it. No, 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 it doesn't need a video, because I know about Theodolites. No, I'm just wanting to know the, uh, the the name and the accuracy of it. Okay, I'd, I'd have to go away and research that, well, Ali, but, I, I, but, I, but I happen to know that that is possible. With the, because uh, George, George. Nathalie, who did the experiment on the Canada ice sheet uh, earlier this Yeah, but to blast a laser 600 metres to be accurate, you know, to hold its thing, you're going to have to need some uh, charge of battery. Oh, no, well, actually, so when I mention laser, you don't actually need, you can just use the crosshairs. You can just see that when you align it to be uh, vertical, um, your thought, like, you can actually see where your crosshairs are um, that you could, that if you look at the other theodolite 600 meters away, you'll see that if you line horizontal, your crosshairs will be above the other theodolite. And if you actually do the measurements with that, you end up with a quite a reasonable estimation. Of, yeah, yeah, half, half a kilometer is a bit much for a theodolite. I'm, I'm going to, I'll question that. I, I don't, I don't. Yeah. No, it, it, it is, you need, yeah, yeah you, there are 30 times. I mean, you're familiar they go up to 30 yeah, I times. I have used right? them more. Rumpus, rumpus. I do. I have you. I have used them. The the laser levels and the dumpy. Yeah, yeah I shouldn't really have mentioned the laser levels. Sorry, the laser levels things actually I confused. I shouldn't have mentioned that. You can just do it by using crosshairs and because the laser sort of diverges anyway by that time. So, so yes, it's much better just yeah, to use the crosshairs. That's, that's what I was right. Okay, so I was yeah, right yeah, there. So, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have mentioned the lasers. That was not that was unnecessary. That's, that's compl we'll just forget the laser at the moment. If you just use the crosshairs and you uh, sight on another, you set it to be horizontal using the maximum resolution if you get a good theodolite and you then look another theodolite you've got something which it obviously has to be on flat ground so if you put it you know water, this is what george did he actually used water to do this he actually got um he put posts on ice that was just touching the top of water so he knew that they were the right level so obviously if you put a theodolite on um some bumpy ground you're going to get into trouble but if you manage to um get it to be pointing horizontal uh, line it and you get another one some distance away also at the same height so you've got to make sure the same height that you will see that it will not be um at a horizontal and so you can just yeah. with a simple experiment yeah, so if you manage to find um uh, obviously, if you, you need, the trick is to find someone that's the same height, and that can be a little bit tricky. Uh, but George did it earlier this year on ice, which obviously, um, but then getting down to the sea, the uh, lake level, and therefore he knew he was exactly the same height, and he was able to demonstrate this this very thing. We've been joined by Mark Smeeler. Is that I hope I'm saying that right? Yeah, How are you doing? Okay, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit. Sorry. How are you doing, Mark? Earth to Mark, how are you doing? He's muted. Say hello, Mark, or you're going to get ejected. About five seconds. You've got to unmute your mic and speak, Mark. Can you hear me now? We can, yeah. just in the nick of time. <laughs> how are you doing? You, Good to have you here. You, right I'm up kind to the wire, I bet. Thanks for being here. Thanks. I'm kind of kind of new to the talking part of this. But what I wanted to say or ask is perhaps I have seen this a long, long time ago, maybe maybe four or five months ago, I've seen a video where three flat earthers, uh, basically one in the US, one in England, and one somewhere in Australia, we're all looking at the same sun. I, for the life of me, I can't find it. I figured that this will help a lot of globe heads. Is that Thrive and Survive that you're talking about, the video he did then? No. Is, is I don't know who, I wish I knew the who. Black guy with glasses, black guy glasses. D Marble. I don't know what he, oh, yeah, I marble, don't know what he yeah, looks like. D Marble, that guy, yeah, sorry, Marble. Either that one, Thrive and Survive, I think. 
But if you guys could find it, and maybe if if Nathan would be nice enough to post the link to it somewhere somehow, it would be really appreciated because I know that something like that will definitely put it in perspective. Yeah, if you, I know the video. I think I think it's Thrive and Survive, one of the marble, or either one. Seen it? He's talking bollocks. Uh, it's been refuted, I'm afraid. Big shout out to Rob S for the super chat contribution. Thank you, you very much, Rob. People... The Earth is tilted. You got three people. Right? The Earth is tilted. Oh, of course. So no, it, I don't. But I know that it's uh, tilted at sixty-six point six degrees. No, it's at tilted at twenty degrees. Sixty. It's yeah, I know. It's twenty-three point four sixty-six point six degrees. Right. So since oh, it's the other side, the other side of the angle would be sixty-six point six. They don't want to say flat out, wide open for everybody. Look, we picked a number with three sixes in it. Just like, by the way, the Earth spins uh, around it's its actually, axis. Oh, like, Six hundred six point six miles. Yeah, that's just hour. a coincidence. Yeah, six, absolutely. Six six uh, yeah. six. Of course it is. It's a when, when was it discovered? When was that discovered? When was that first put into the history books? Has anybody got that I mean, article? Every, when, every, when that was discovered? The Earth is tilted. The Earth is tilted. I know, but when was that discovered? Who 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 decided that? What was that person's name that came? No one decided it. No, what do you it mean nobody decided, decided it? No, so no, no, it no was decided. decided. But here, but here's the thing. Uh, who, who decided that? For for God only knows how long, Bible and every single holy book out there said the earth is flat. Then they decided to say the earth is round. But every single time science tried to prove the earth is round or it's happened. spinning. That's not what happened. On its face. That's not what okay, happened. Okay, then. Well, that's, I'm thinking of the happened. Morley experiment. Oh, so okay. The Earth, the, Michael, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Earth is tilted. Saying, the Earth is tilted so that there are uh, arrangements between the Earth and the Sun. Who that decided are, that? Who decided oh, no, that? no. I can tell you. I can it's tell observed. you why the Earth is tilted. You know why? Because if you put if you put a Christmas if you put a Christmas tree on the North Pole and shake it. Because of the tilt, all the fruits and nuts will land in San Francisco. Yeah, that was really funny. What? This guy's uh, more stupid than <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> so nice. It must <laughs> take some doing. Alignments, there are alignments where people who are <laughs> below the equator uh, can see the same sun that people above the equator can see it. There the seem to be a number of people, these flat earthers, who seem to think that there's one person or something has decided that something's yeah. true. We have the scientific method, as mentioned earlier. Hey man, uh, the refrigerator wasn't even is, invented is, in is, people's houses till 1910. Is, is, is all about okay. refrigerator important. of people of people <laughs> across the across the planet make multiple uh, experiments and they all people verify one another. Every day, it's, not, years ago. it's not it's not just one person coming up with something. That's, it's a whole body of people in Institutions right. in various countries all agreeing on the same thing. So it's not one person dictating a piece of information. It's no, everybody it around the world checking everything. And but through that, they know I'm they're coming to the right answer. Like, if that were true, we wouldn't get so much bunk science like climate change. We, don't. Change. we, well, we absolutely do. No, we you don't. Know, if you're totally you full of crap, know. Rumpus. You have no, no idea what you're talking you, about. You're an idiot. Obviously. You, you, no, you're, you're an, an idiot. Give an example, give an example to... then, Pete, if you, know, if you know this. Give an example. Guys. Well, okay. The There's a scientist named way. Victor Bloomberg who wrote a, a book called The Environmental Skeptic, Skeptic, and he was treated like the scientific community would have went after him like like it was like a witch hunt because well, he didn't go that. along. He didn't go along with the agenda. Agenda well, twenty one. He was wrong. I mean, he's, some scientists no. would be wrong, but the body of science, no. the institutions, the scientific body of evidence of, 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 of that criticism. Was, that's not true. Well, that well, was a terrible statement. Also, also, there is a book called. Um, it was proved wrong at. So, if someone writes a book on something, and then they they, they get told off of saying it's crap. That makes them right, does it? So, I could write a book now that says Pete is a moron, and that he makes them right, does it? Australian. So what, about, what, what, about, what about when um, you do, a, do a globe ball? ball? The ballers need to come out with some... Yeah, minute, David, one second. They got caught uh, fudging the water level data. They got caught hands no, down. Always them. fudging statistics and data yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah. What, are you about? Like, what about when like the sugar corporations paid off scientists to make uh, blame um, what cholesterol for heart disease? And now we're saying Ooh. now we're finding out that cholesterol doesn't even affect heart disease at all and it was all 
A scam by the sugar companies. What about the, that science? The pharmaceutical guy. Industry, there is, there is, yeah. I mean, obviously there are naughty people, naughty companies that do naughty things. But the body of science, the um, still comes to a collective view based on each individual institution's doing experiment. But if some obviously becomes something novel, like I mean, you're there might be one institution that's being paid to be corrupt. Okay, that oh, and that But but if there be another institution, they come up with something that's supposedly a breakthrough. <laughs> like, another institution, another country will then check it, and they will in then theory. In theory, like what you say should be true, but the problem is power corrupts it and it and that and then it's not about truth and it's not what it meant out to be. Like the Bible and Jesus, his whole like idea isn't what the Catholic Church, you know, like in theory, these things are good ideas, but in practice, they get corrupted by evil psychopaths. Well, well, that's the thing that you don't understand. You want, you're you're off into religious issues here. We're talking about science at the moment. No, I'm talking about sciences well, of religion, moron. And no, also, no, no, you no, don't no, understand no, no, that the world no, no, is run no, by no, psychopaths, apparently, who are brainwashing and indoctrinating people. For, I don't understand why you can't checking, grasp this concept. Checking, like, don't you read? No you study history? Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're a moron. You don't understand. No, you're a moron. You don't understand. Checked, you checked, you don't every understand time. how the world checked, works. Checked, you don't know checked, who checked, runs the world. Checked, you don't again. know what the power and don't of the history the real and world the groups is that checked, control and the movers and shakers have no then, idea then you're what the hell is going on. That's you don't, you're theory. not, you need Another to read more books. Checks it. They come to an agreement and they say, oh, look, you were both no right. You're both about. did the experiment. You agreed. So then you come up with a consensus saying, yes, that was well, right. What year was it discovered that the moon was 240,000 miles from here? Irrelevant. Oh, it doesn't no, matter what you did. I want to know who discovered that. I mean, that would be a pretty big, big discovery. I just discovered that the moon but, is But David, it's being checked every day. Here. Are you aware that we you, check? You, you the can't even show me a book that says in. I never even heard of the guy David, that did. Do you understand that was the distance name, was, the moon last was checked name? every day in modern using the reflectors put on there on the moon landings? It gets checked every day the distance to the moon. So it's irrelevant what someone did three or four hundred years ago. What do you irrelevant. Mean, what, do you, what do you mean? How? It, you know, so you just think it was three or four hundred thousand years ago? Well, I said huh? three or four hundred years ago. <laughs> three or four hundred years ago. Yeah, I mean, though I suspect that actually being able to tell it was around that actually. It was around. Uh, I think I was reading a book about it the other day actually, David. <laughs> It, it was, but the the way that they found it out, it's it's shady the way they do their measurements. But it, it was parallax on the moon. You see, the thing about being on the moon, the moon, it should be quite possible to do it simply by asking someone on one side of the Earth to make a measurement to the moon, and someone else on another moon, and to use the simple rules of triangles, you can then work out how far it is away. So yeah, but you're moving. You know, remember, funny, you're, you're they, forgotten we're rotating at the same time. It's quite hard. They've done the exact, they've done the exact the simultaneous measurements, Alex. Rumpus, needs to read some books. Rumpus, get off the panel, go read about like how the world works, and then come back. I know exactly how the world works. So you're obviously a deluded moron. <laughs> okay. Come on, none of us. Really I think you just need to read more books. No, I know. First of all, come on, we can both admit that none of us. None of us know exactly how it works. moron. He's a moron. Hey, Dave. He's a moron. Dave. Dave. Dave, share, I'm sharing my screen. Have a Rufus look. Rufus just isn't well read. My screen. Have, have a look on my screen. All right? It says the mean distance to the moon as determined by radar. These guys, they used radar. They bounced radar off the moon and determined the distance to the radar, uh, to the moon by radar. More of that elite scientism okay. and spooky and spooky. You can you can, you can go you can go and, uh, and and review this this experiment yourself. You can go and find where it's been written up and verify it. For goodness sakes, they've given the names of likes. You can actually, if they're still alive, you can contact them and ask them how they did it if you want to. And it's not just one set of people. It's of been measured it's been by checked. radar. And it's being checked by That's multiple right. people with different radar systems in different countries. So that the, the the yeah, it was done before then, though. It was done hundreds of years ago. But it's being done today. It's being done today, it's many, many it's done today it. with modern uh, laser uh, hey, stuff. Hey, listen, listen, I'm, I'm not arguing, man. Don't... It doesn't matter whether I'm doing it today. Stop talking about it's done hundreds of years ago. It's been done today. Today yeah, we're making this. Yeah, but, so it's irrelevant yeah. what happened hundreds of years ago. Why? Why? First you, of all, who's I, printing? I don't understand why have you, you ever wondered who is saying, printing the data? If you keep on saying, you see, I think this is what the religious view. You keep on thinking if someone's thought something three or four hundred years ago, that's been put into stone. Science is updated every single day, and every single day we update the distance of the moon. No, no, changing every day. You're presuming too much. 
So well, have y'all updated that it's a level earth yet? Is that where the, the next update is going to be? I would have that, Dave. I would have said that if I was a flat earth. When Jesus. The day, the the, day the they finally the, accept the, it. The earth is level. That's, that's the new update in 2018 coming uh -huh. up. That's pretty much true. Ding, ding, Dave. Ding, ding. Pretty Dave. much true. Yeah, the, moment, the moment they say that they, NASA can't go grabbing $50 million a day, the moment they come out saying, look, we BS'd you for the last 100 years, we we dumped God only knows how much money by now into NASA. And the fellow around there who's speaking that he knows the Bible and is saying Jesus this and Jesus that, I got news for you. What the Satanists wound up doing is, is they wound up introducing an entity called Jesus, not Jesus Christ, but Jesus into the mix the this the, way. The Satanists conspire with the lizard people? Ooh, I like this. They're one and the same. They're one who the, the hell same. says that? We, the so lizard everybody people, out there. The people are one and the same as the same. They, they make his point. Well, uh, this, oh, Jesus. Come on. No, I think he who, actually. Who do you think our creators look like? What do you think our creators like, look like? Lizards? Creators. Lizards? Creators. Not just not just one. Yeah, one of them was lizards. Little green oh, men. They were lizard people. They're lizard people. And then people, there was right? some. And then there and then there's something that looks a little bit like a. You just view fairy stories. I mean, you know, have, have, have any of have y'all ever have any of y'all ever seen anything that no so one else? So the goddamn Bible. It's a goddamn fairy story. Okay, they're all fairy stories. Just pick hey, let me tell you. I, I saw a phoenix one time. You know, you know what a phoenix is. Big what? shout out to Andrew for smashing that super chat. Thanks a million. I did. Did. Concentrate your efforts on Lake Pontchartrain, David. Go there, and you'll see the curve. No, I was, I was, I was loading cars up over in in, in uh, Arlington, and uh, I was Ooh. at a car auction. It was in the middle of August, and I look up, and there's this bird, and it's seven Ugh. or eight foot tall. It lands on a on a big power pole right above me, and I sit there and I look at it for about ten minutes. And this thing was bigger than a man, and looked like a, it looked like a a bald eagle. Was it on fire? <laughs> no, it wasn't on fire. It, it looked was, like it was a bald eagle. It's a size of bald eagle. I wonder what it was. <laughs> no, you you it, it, was, it, it was bigger than a man. It had probably a, a 20 foot wingspan on it. You saw Big Bird. You saw Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Bird. <laughs> You're laughing at the guy who believes in lizard people is laughing at the guy who saw a Big Bird. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, the, the person. Who the hell out there says that we're the smartest in the goddamn galaxy? Who out there wants to claim that as human beings are the smartest thing out there in the goddamn galaxy? No, no one's okay. Not. I'm pretty. I'm kind of actually hoping we don't. We are because they are just going to be flabbergasted by how stupid we are. Yeah, if they took one look at Dave, the David, joke, or something, or this Pete or Mark here, yeah, we'd be in real trouble. I think, you know the. The joke of it is, guys, you, the Ron. joke of it is, they have proven we only use 1% of our brain. No, they haven't. That's, now, a, they, that's a myth. That's a nonsense. Myth. That is absolute <laughs> rubbish. It's an urban that's, myth, that one. That's, that's straight <laughs> out of that's The fact that you're prepared to just history. come out with that just points out you, you, you don't base any of your arguments on everything, just simply what you want to believe. Now, last time I checked, who wants to go higher than – who wants to go higher – than three percent, as far as us using our brain, we use so all of it. We, we use all of our brain. Smith, all of you're brain. you're working on a complete myth. You have no idea what you're talking about. All right. Well, it would be nice if you read it up. I actually, I have, I have, and it's a complete myth. That based that study yes. that claim we only use ten or twenty percent of our brains has been shown to be complete rubbish. They're able to see one thing. They, they, they've they shown in some sites Mengele's research that he did in the death camps. And one of the things I saw was that he, through, through brainwashing or his mind manipulation, he was able to enter the barrier that, that basically locks us off from, you know, the part that he right, said. Right, so this is one have person no who's to. made a claim in a, in, a, in a death camp who believed in a, a genocide. Now it's Shil Scanner. Thank you for the super chat. The guy, you know, no, they, no, I'm they, not saying doesn't work like that, Mark. Science doesn't work like that. It has to be uh, re repeated, validated by a vast number of institutions before we give it any credence at all. Just by saying oh, some guy in a genocide camp decided oh, something whole... and wrote something down is irrelevant. All your scientific you heroes think... are eugenics freaks, Rumpus. Is it re well? I don't. It is. No. Is that 
Einstein all, wasn't. Einstein all this wasn't research is be, uh, So you're saying Einstein was a eugenicist, don't you? And Newton, you think Newton was a eugenicist? She, Einstein, Einstein was a was. Uh, Einstein. Uh, Tesla, you know what you're, do you know how many? You're utterly deluded, Pete. You've no idea you know the joke, what you're talking about. Einstein, the guy, you I, know, Einstein. I actually the theory do. I've read Einstein's theory. autobiography of you, moron. Well, in which case, you wouldn't say he was a eugenicist, then, would you? I read Einstein's autobiography of you. Smart no, I haven't. Guy. I know it's not oh, you. Well, clearly, I'm you so just, shocked. You, well, you must have just read the cover or something. Because... British retard. Well, I, 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 well, if you, you, you spout, spout a little bit of drivel, I'm afraid you're going to get called what, out. What class are you, Rumpus? Gentlemen, I just mean, so you know, I mean, Einstein has been disproven. Einstein's, all of Einstein's theories, every single one has been disproven. No, by no, every single one has been proven. Every, one. No, every single one has been absolutely proven. Absolutely not. Including, go on, point out, go on, demonstrate. He's well, been, I'm, I'm sure that this, the, the theory of relativity will disprove them, right? The theory uh, of about, relativity hey, starts what about, out hey, what about by asking Jews, you, Mark? What about space Jews? Do you believe what? in the space Jews? The Jews from space. From space. Jews Ooh. from space. No one's, no one's been to space, and I'm sure that the Jews like weren't the only balls? ones who were excluded. So we have about 10 minutes left on this broadcast. Massive, massive thank you to Shill Scanner and the other people who hit the super chat. Huge, huge thanks. And of course, a massive thank you to all the people who have shared. I will come back one last time. I'd normally encourage people to join to do a little bit of a last minute trolling, maybe, but there's no gaps on the panel. If there does one, if there is a gap that opens up, feel free to join in the last 10 minutes and uh, say or do as you will. The rules still apply. Please do not swear. But yeah, we'll come back one last time just to thank you all for watching and thank the panel for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you've not done so already and smash that super chat if you are enjoying these streams theory of relativity he came up with a theory of special relativity and the theory of general relativity the theory of relativity was come was invented by galileo so the mere fact you can't Actually, even no. get the name of the theory right just demonstrates no. you're an idiot well but then again the, we knew that already the, the, the einstein this is what einstein this is what i have that basically with a lot more to it okay but i didn't read much into it i'm not you a math whiz say something sensible well, just let him finish. but here's einstein says this that a half a cup cup of water equals a half empty cup of water then it then it basically multiplies both sides by two then it says that an empty cup is equal to a full cup after you're willing to basically swallow that the I, rest I of the math i think you should math magic <laughs> Space no, that, that would be a step up. Yeah, I, I think speaking in English would be a good step forward, and uh, any sort of coherent argument would be nice. That was just gibberish. Well, the, the moment you yeah, start speaking true. English, everybody here starts screaming moron and never let you finish a well, sentence. Well, stop being a moron but, then. Say, say something oh, sensible on, based on evidence. But if we, we the only time to... that you don't sound like a moron in your books is if you say that the Earth is round and it's spinning through space like a pretty blue ball. Everything yeah, after that, that, that would be you turn, you turn into a moron. About how they would train to like basically parrot what everyone around them says, no, you, no, and then you, that you, makes them feel like they're normal and intelligent. You and can stuff. go to Lake Pontchartrain and only thing... see for yourself that the Earth is curved. You can look up into the sky and see that the North Pole and South Pole is rotating around you in a different way that cannot happen on a flat if... Earth. We can measure the distances to stars and see how they're rotating. We can measure the cosmic wave background radiations and see ourselves moving through space. We can detect... Everybody who's... So we can not see all we. these things that invalidate. It's some we can invalidate guy. All the it's some the guy. Earth. It's not it's we. It's we aren't measuring shit. No, we are. All we institutions around the world are done. No, That's the way science are, works. Yeah, we are it's, asking it's a some effort. guy. It's not no, some, some guy. guy. No, no, it's dude, not some an guy. You're deluded if you think it's just an individual coming with an idea and we're all being having it dictated to us. It's called, it's verified by all the institutions around the world in, in different countries around the world. And you can go to Lake Pontchartrain and go and see the curvature for yourself. Why does it have to be Pontchartrain? Well, why can't you go to there. any lake? Oh, lake. you can't? Okay. Why can't it's, you go to it's any It's very lake. convenient on Lake Pontchartrain. Okay, how no, about if you go to um, if you want to go to Chicago? If you go and look at Chicago from the opposite shore of Lake Michigan, you can see the half of the the what's it building? Well, sorry, it was up. It was the very top. Actually, no, you can't. They are click on Einstein oh. right hand side. Up the right, that's it. Click there. No, there you go. For some reason, they can see straight across, 
and see the entire Chicago oh, skyline man. without a drop. That's not true. Hello, I'm Laura Green, and this is National Fox. Geographic Today. Every, everybody's pointing is it to that. that it's a mirage. Got it wrong. Yeah. Well, some it's a mirage. Think so, and their groundbreaking work is rocking the scientific community. Nothing travels faster than the speed of light. At least that's what Einstein's theory of relativity tells us. Now a new study is breaking the law. Physicists at the CERN Research Institute in Switzerland have clocked a neutrino particle traveling faster than light. According to Einstein's theory, that's not supposed to happen. Can I, can I, can I, can I interject here? Yes, this was an experiment conducted by some Swiss and some Italian scientists. And the scientists in question thought they had some neutrinos that are going faster than the speed of light. After they investigated for several years, well, I think it was a year or something, when they offering it, they've now they did, that, they did this in the hydrogen hold on, hold on, choir, right? Hold on, they've now retracted done. that claim. They, hold on, they've now retracted that claim when they found out it was due to a dodgy cable. Yes, it was a loose cable. But why didn't you? Why weren't you well, able? Of course, to of course, it? of course, it was. That was me that asked Nathan to play that, so it's not down to Nathan. That was me. Yeah, but of course it was a dodgy cable. Listen, they got threatened. Listen, they got threatened, right? They got how, threatened. How, you can prove that? Go and watch an interview. Go and watch an interview. Listen, go watch an interview with them. Go and watch an interview with them. Sorry, I'm going to have to turn you guys down because we haven't got enough time for the uh, back and forth. So been joined by Huey. Very pleased to have you here, Huey. How are you doing? Hello, Nathan. Good evening. How are you? Very well. We've got about five minutes, maybe a little bit less left, just so oh, you know. Hello, oh, Huey. Huey. On again. Hey, hey, Curved, how are you doing? Good, good. Hey, hey you. Robert. Hey, yeah. you. How are you? How are you? Yeah. I'm not on too bad. I've, I've been a bit, yeah, but I've been back on the um, Mirth discussion at some stage in the not so distant future. I've just been doing lots of other things, unfortunately. And I just saw this. Um, this some oh, you're up here. Productive. Yeah, I'll, I'll be on. Yeah, I'll come back on the Mirth discussion at some stage. I, though I see you. Uh, I know. Um, yeah. How are you doing, Ellie? Absolutely yeah, spiffing, we got. Oh, good man, good man. Glad to hear it. Anyway, what were you guys talking about? Something about a dodgy cable at CERN? Oh, that's right. If you, yeah, there's someone here. I mean, this is incredible. They, someone was trying to invalidate Einstein by the experiment, the neutrino problem they had between the two, the detector and the neutrino source in Switzerland and Italy. And then someone here was playing the video saying, but by some news item claiming that that invalidated Einstein. And the people who were making that claim were very reluctant to make it. They checked it for about six months. And then after a year, they, they made it public, said, look, we've got a problem here. We don't quite understand what's going on. They then spent another year, I think it was about a year or something. And they asked everybody else to come and help them that they discovered as uh as, as brenda also knows it was down to a dodgy cable and they then retracted all those claims so that news item is completely out of date all the scientists that made that claim have retracted it and said oh sorry it was a dodgy cable we look very stupid apologies thank but you very much no nothing now he, think, now he thinks it's because they were threatened but he won't he won't show any evidence for that yeah, well i funded no well i don't know I'm, I'm quite i'm quite good at reading people and if you go and have a look at the interview oh, Benny, that doesn't matter you're really not, Ali. You're really not. Maybe those Ali, same scientists will come out and tell you the Earth's flat here pretty soon, too, because they messed up a lot. <laughs> you don't believe them. The, the, believe the, the point I was actually going to make was, right, is because Einstein wrote a paper in uh, 1911 uh, saying that uh, speed, uh, uh, light wasn't a constant, but then, in, as everybody knows, he wrote the that paper in what was it, 15 or 1921 or something? Like 19, he, wrote, he wrote a paper in 19, uh, 1911 uh, saying that uh, the speed of light was not constant. How okay, come Einstein well, didn't re invent the refrigerator, huh? In 1905, he wrote the, the special theory of religion so paper in which yeah, he and light light was a constant. wrote a paper. In 1911, he wrote a paper about how uh, speed uh, was a, a variable. Okay, right, where's the 19... evidence for that? Okay, where's the evidence for that? All right, okay, I'll just find it then. Hang on. Please do. I don't believe okay. that. It's about 60 it's seconds. Royal about 60 seconds yeah, left. Royal Sorry, Nathan. Sorry. He was just going to say he, he got 60 seconds to do it. He was adamant about it being a constant. In 1905, he wrote the theory of special relativity, and he yeah. was absolutely adamant, as far as I know, his entire life, that the speed of light was an absolute constant. He based all of his theories upon that. It was the basis of everything he ever did. It was the cosmological constant that he thought of adding to his special theory. That's right. Yeah. That's no, but you didn't even know that he wrote a paper. Practice. You just didn't even know that he wrote a paper in 1911, so you don't know what you're talking about. He wrote a paper in 1911. 
well, okay, okay. Just because I didn't know, I'm not familiar with him having written particular paper on particular dates. He wrote lots of papers in many, many years. The fact that you're saying he'd written when Nigel lived, I think I'm perfectly entitled not to know that. But you, I, he will not in that paper have claimed yeah, that it was light, 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 light was not a constant. Light. It was about the speed of light that he didn't believe it was a constant. He wrote well, it. In, in vacuum, of course. If it's in a, if it's in a medium like glass or something, it will slow down. So we're talking about in no, a vacuum, no, no, of course. No, no, no. Have been talking about that. He talked about space, didn't he? He didn't talk yeah, about yeah, it's going to be a conceptual like error he here. Didn't mess, he didn't mess with Newton's shit, man. You know what I mean? Well, come on. Where's oh, the evidence? Is come this on, a Alan, ball map a... or is this a flat map? You people decide. That's a flat map. And with that, I am going to say, first and foremost, a huge thank you to Rob, Andrew and Shillscanner for hitting that super chat. And a massive thank you to all of the live audience for tuning into this debate. And a massive, massive thank you to the debate panel for making the debate possible. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you all in the next video.